Hey, not Malek's finest performance there. Next oh, up. You can't win every single one of them, Pokemon. You can't win every single one. Who next? Next up, Jace Hawksley, seven votes. Hawko, one, two. Oh, could it be? Not another one. Another Shadowless card there. Three, four, five. First edition Meowth from Team Rocket. My lordy, six. Seven, and a little hollow there to end things off. There we go. And Elliot Truscott did need one more all day. Really? He only got four. He only got Here we go. Right, you know what? I'm going to give him three. Right. Oh, Here we go. Because you, because we're, we're like that. Oh, beautiful Pikachu from Jungle. Oh, <laughs> unlimited oh. Charmander. And a beautiful old Not school bad. Pikachu. Hey. hey, how's that? Whoever was up next is going to hate me. <laughs> Rob, Pet <laughs> Rob Petrovich, five o's. Sorry, Petto. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, should I give him an extra one just so he doesn't yeah. hate me? Go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, give me one more. Give me one more. Oh, no worries. There we go. There you go, Robbie. There oh, you go. oh, there you go. There you go. What a start we got neck tonight. Minute. Who neck? Oh, we got the Pony to Expedition. Uh, what a card. Yeah, that's a pretty CGC card. CGC mint condition. Look at that one. I talk about these E series all the time, guys. If you've got any E series cards, get them over to grading if they're in any type of condition because it was just one of those uh, one of those moments in Pokemon history where Pokemon wasn't going the best and they're all pretty valuable so get them into grading with the, with the tees guys if we have run out just keep claiming them because basically if, if we've run out we just won't take them if there's a few left then you'll obviously get one of the last ones remaining just to answer your question Benny McClellan alright next up Peter Macri 10 votes Macri. Peter Macri 10 oh, oh my god, god. Oh my god he pulled the dragon eye I don't <laughs> holy shit what are the odds the odds what are the odds Oh, look at the swirl on it as well. He pulls a Dragonite the night we're doing a Dragonite auction. Eee! Would you look at that? Yeah, let's have a look. Look at that. A look, perfect look. example of what to send to CGC, Pokeron. There we go. There's, uh, well, he didn't get the, the graded one. He got the ungraded one. But we, we, we actually have these uh, towers totally in random order, guys, believe it or not. And this was actually just pulled by sheer fluke tonight. What an amazing, uh, amazing turn of events here at the... Uh, welcome, Stranger Studio tonight. Yes, Pokemon. Uh, how yes. many was it? Uh, it was 10 for Pete. Look at the swirl on it as well. Good luck, Pete. Good luck, Pete. One, two, three. What am I saying good luck for? You pulled a dragon on first hit. Three, five. Full art. Six. Reverse seven, seven. Eight. And nine, I think, because I already had one. Yeah. Fabian, what's a T claim, brother? A T claim is what you're looking at right now. It is randomly drawn out raw cards. We've got hit cards. We've got uh, plenty of uh, stuff in there, mate. So if you want to uh, take try a chance, your mate, try your luck. The claim question team. is, are you feeling lucky, punk? All right, the next up, Corey Dolovecchia. Eight votes. All right, let's do Eight. it. Eight. One, two, three. Beautiful Pikachu there. Four, five. Another good Pikachu. Six, seven, eight. Paris. There we go. Not too Alrighty, bad. guys. First call on the expedition pony to hey, nineteen years old, Mister Man. Another condition. Guys. In another year, it's a twenty year anniversary of the pony. Exactly right. right next. next up, Ellis Burton. Eight. Ellis Burton. Eight. Crocodile from Neo. Fantastic stuff. Thirty-five. Avatar. Brock's Geo, dude. Just oh, smart. Thirty-five dollars on the auction. Yeah. That's first call. I got a feel, and this was a this was a double whammy. This um, Tower of Death. This was a double whammy. One, two, three, four, five. I think it was eight, was it? Eight. Six. Seven. It was an eight all day. Eight. I think it, did you say 35, Indy? Yeah, 35. 35, Toddy Thurlow, 35. Next up, Peter Macri's back. Give him 15. Mac 15! The Mac, the Mac Daddy, one. Okay. Yeah. Two. Three, Polywhirl. Four, Mareep. Five. Tamara P at $50. $5 incremental Six. bids, guys, after 50 bucks. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Tamara P still leading 14. the auction. Uh, Corey, you need to come in at fifty-five if you want to take the lead, brother. Fifteen. Oh, nice hologram there, oh, right on the end. Mark. I was nearly about to say that he um, he wasn't doing too well in that tower, but. Ended up just coming good there with another beautiful Japanese hollow. We've had about five of these come out of this pretty decent poker. He's Next pretty up. Decent. Next up, Peter Victor. Three votes. Peter Van Hoobenban. One. Two. 
All right, next up. All righty, who next? Jack Bryce, 10 votes. Bryce, so 10. Yeah. One, two, three. Shadowless? Ooh. Yep. Yep. Shadowless Weedle. Yeah. Yeah. 10, was it? Four? Yeah. Five. Six. Seven. seven eight. Nine. Ten. I've got two left. You can have them both. Oh. One. Two. Oh, lead Ooh. promo. Nice. That's the how you do it. Is at 69 right now. Oh, let's drop it. Yeah. Yes, and tomorrow, Sol. Just so you know, tomorrow, P. Um, if you did want to come in, you need to come in at just above 69, which would be 74, because we have gone over the $50 uh, dollar point, which they are $5 incremental bids after that. Jono, what if is the master getting the option at 69 all day? What's that? Jono, what if? He seems to claim all these options at 69. He does. He I does, guys. Jono, if wants to know if we're doing kebabs tonight for dinner. Oh, man, he's been people. promising me these kebabs for a long time. Elliot, I haven't seen no garlic sauce yet. <laughs> See, and guys, yes. I mean, come on, wake up. You don't want to take me and Pokemon out for a kebab. Isaac Butterfield, 8 p.m. Dragonite auction, competing with Maps. Ambitious, I love it. Hey. <laughs> hey. Maps ain't really competition, is it, bruh? <laughs> That's it, mate. That's it, Pokemon. That's that. it. Maps, right. come on, bros. What's a Maps? We'll put it this way. They wanted me to go on Maps. That's how bad it is. <laughs> Alrighty, next auction, Pokemon. Next auction. Let's go auction cam. Alrighty, guys, we have got the Evolutions Pikachu. Isaac got a massive national tour coming up. He does, I think. He's coming to Melbourne soon, isn't he? Check him out. He's a funny bloke. I've stolen quite a few of his jokes, and they're all quite funny. I was going to say, Pokemon, I knew they weren't your uh, your originals. So, um, hey, we're done with them, aren't we? We're done. We're done. That's done with that. So, next auction, guys, we've got an Evolutions Pikachu in near mint to mint condition. We're at 25 20... with Jess Smythe. Jess Smythe. This is a card that you would um, <laughs> definitely do well adding to your collection because it is uh, from the set that really, really just um, put a massive shot in the arm for Pokemon. 2016 mm -hmm. Evolutions coinciding with Pokemon Go at that time. We saw Pokemon have a massive resurgence. Uh, not that it really ever went anywhere, but we saw so many new people come into the hobby as investors. A lot of people who were um, avid collectors as kids started buying up cards, some of their favourite um, artworks like Pikachu, it was a, um, a real sort of golden time and, and to think that it's already been five years Pokemon is kind of scary because it did feel like it was yesterday. Yeah, oh shit yeah. Can I borrow the Pokemon scissors? Sure can Pokemon. Fantastic, thanks mate. Now, uh, now we're moving on to the claim sales guys. What I've got here is a beautiful box of uh, Detective Pikachu Japanese. Now the important thing to know about these cards guys is every... <coughs> Gesundheit. Yeah. The important thing to remember about these cards, guys, is every single card is a hollow. And I'll show you what I'm saying. There is Charizards in this set, and it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful Charizard artwork as well. So get around those. Claim D seven bucks each. Um, and I'll just—I'm going to crack open a pack just purely to show you guys. I, uh, me, I, I hate cracking packs, but I'm just cracking this one <laughs> to show you guys to be professionally courteous. Um, and just have a look. Oh, Every card it oh. oh oh yes, yes. <laughs> you finally did a Pokemon. He's oh. finally pulled a Zard. Oh what a night, guys! Oh what a night! Yes, please, fantastic, unbelievable. I was, I was just saying um, that I was gonna. The one time I didn't say it as well, but um, yeah, there we go. Gets the Zard. There is Zards in there. Well, not anymore. But, oh, um, oh Matty Harris has claim open pack. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I'm not surprised there. You wish, bruh. Um, I'm not too sure, Cody, what the full set's worth, my brother. Uh, as the Ds come through, just let us know, guys. Yeah, no oh, they're claiming the Zard that. Pokemon. They're claiming the Zard, brother. They're claiming the Zard. Is your auction off? Pack fresh? Ooh. I don't know. What do you reckon? How are you feeling? Keep the for, keep the Zard, dude. You saw the other week when we. For the CGC and go for a well, I just feel like um, you know the people. It's it's the people's Zard. You saw yeah. the other. You saw a few days back, Hinji, when we opened that box and I pulled the first pack. Pokemon said, "Don't do it. What's the point? What's the point?" I pulled a Zard first pack. She yeah. said, "Look at his face." And I think from that same <coughs> box all day, he said the same thing to me a little bit later on. And you pulled one too. I pulled a Zard. Pokemon, do you see what I'm saying? How does it feel? How does it feel? Welcome to the Zard pulling club. Yeah. Welcome. 
All right, hey, hey, Pokemon, I've just noticed. The countdown has just gone to under an hour. I believe that was about a minute 20 seconds ago. Well, minute, it wasn't right? that long ago, Pokemon. Cut true. me some slack. All right, first call in the auction, guys. Evolution's Pikachu from 2016. Uh, we've got these Ds. Nice catch. Can I have a um, top yeah. loader, someone, for, for my Zard? Thank you. Awesome. Really great stuff. All righty, we're going to start off, Pokemon, with five packs for Robbie Petrovic. He's yep. got five. That's one per finger on each hand. All right, we've got James Marin. He's got two. He's Shoot. Got two. Should I open another box? Have we got a couple oh, more famous? I don't know, I don't know. Lee will Jarrett. They just, will they just see me? This is what I'm going to start. Lee gonna, Jarrett wants two. Just Lee. in case everyone's paranoid. Oh, he pulled the Zard. There's none of the Zard in there. I'm going to open up another box. Hold up, Maddie. Hold up all day. Ebony and Davis gets two. I've opened another box there, and I'm just going to mix them all through. So there could be Zards oh. galore. Zard, Zard. Uh -huh. Can I grab three for another mate of mine, Dave Coleman? No, no. Right. no, no, go, go, go. Right. Three for Dave Coleman. 50 on the auction uh, all day. Yep, you forgot my name there for a second, G. Thank you. I feel it in my fingers. We've got three for Emma. What Papa. a weird night so far, yeah? Oh, I'd say it's been a great night, Pogo. I mean, weird. Oh, yeah, it's oh, been good. Gideon Hayes has got three. Giddo. Gideon Hayes has three. That's coming to you, Gideon. And we've got. Uh, five. Uh, I'm, dropping this auction, I'm dropping this auction, I'm dropping this auction. It's first call, Bogey Ron. I don't care. What's, what are we at? For a long time. What? Was that $50 with Anthony? Yeah, so get your bid thing, guys. I'm not, I'm not messing around tonight. Jarman's I'm, got five. I'm pulling Zards. I'm I'm yeah. going hard. I'm going Zard hard. All right. There you go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Pokemon. Oh, Zard what's this? Oh. That's it. Zard, Dragonite. Eek. All right, Pokemon. Can we go auction cam? We got auction cam, gents. We got Jordan. Uh, I think it's Shedley. Should I throw that Dragonite in with whoever wins the? Should I throw that pack for his in for whoever wins the Dragonite? Oh. Or is that like giving someone a lollipop when they buy a Ferrari? No, oh. <laughs> no. I think it's <laughs> Toddy Furlow. One pack. On <laughs> Come on, Pokemon. Come on, Pokemon. Switch on. Mac. Uh, one for Michael Lay. Michael. Uh, Aaron James March, and he'll take four packs. Aaron James Dean Peter Leslie, congratulations. Yeah, Pokemon, he doesn't know what that joke means. Oh, that's a new joke. That's right, mate. Okay. That's right. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. All right, we've got Peter Victor. He wants one. Got any more there, mystery? Alrighty, Shane Collins, he'll take one. In the air tonight. <clears throat> I've got another box. If, uh, if, you want, if you want more Ds, you can put through another round. Come back for seconds. Come back for thirds. Daniela Mish, she'll take three, Pokemon. All right, I'm cracking it again. Cracking another one. Oh, Let's get these Zards going, man. And we've got Jamie Davis, uh, one. Cracking another one right here, guys. This is box fresh. Alrighty, Pokemon, go hard, Pokemon, go hard. Uh, auction cam, guys, we've got the Black Star Zapdos from the year 2000. One of the very early artworks of Zapdos. What was it, Pokemon? Second or third? So I reckon third. Uh, third. Yeah, second, uh, well, you fossil. had base, you had fossil, fossil, and then this one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it yeah. might be the third. So it came out in the year 2000, Correct. so just after fossil, so third of a Zapdos artwork. Get your hands on that one, guys. I think the Black Star promos are a heavily um, undervalued set. They have sort of snuck up um, on the radar, but I reckon they're a great card to get. And in mint condition, I think you can get some great value. They're still at very affordable prices. Pokemon, two packs to James Lloyd. See no changes all day. That's right, Pokemon. What this is uh, Four packs for Jamie George. Jamo. I, do, I hope I'm getting that right. I've been told off last couple that's of weeks. That's correct, that's correct, yep. all day. There you go, Bryce Gale, he'll take one. Gale. $90 on the auction. Uh, we got Robbie Petrovic, he'll take five packs. Robbie, I've got five coming to you. I hope Robbo. you guys pull a Zard. I'd hate to think that the Pokemon pulled the best card of the night. I mean, he does say that he's the best bloke he knows, but I've got to tell you, he's probably, he's not the best bloke I know. Four packs. See that, Pokemon? What's that? I said, you said you're the best bloke that you know. I said, you're not the best bloke I know. Oh, well. Do you know, do you know why? We obviously haven't met. Do you know why? Because I know me. Uh, Goran Lakota, he gets three. Now, I don't know if you've all heard lately, but the chubby... Peter Van Lee you... gets two... You open another one, Pokemon, or are we done? No, I'm opening something else. Okay. So Peter Van Lee had two packs. There's only one left. There you go. So just one there Sorry. for you, Pete. Peter. Next up, 
We've got V here. Check this out. Now, I don't know if you heard, but Chubby Pikachu is in these boxes. The super rare Pikachu going for about, Aye, uh... what, 1,000 US, maybe a bit more? Vivid Voltage, guys. There is the full art Pikachu that is taking the world by storm. We're probably going to have people claiming whole boxes because this uh, Vivid Voltage stuff is getting hard to find. Let me, uh, I think there's four to the art set. Oh, and there it is there. If you want to get a close up on that, that's the Pikachu you're after, guys. If you're buying these packs, this is what you want. Oh, yeah. Um, Beautiful or, Pikachu. Or, sorry for our Italian viewers, if you're buying these Paquete. Paquete. Are you sure? Is that the word Pokemon? Are you just making that up? Do I think, please. please. Isn't it like a, meant to be il or la in front? You know, I was, dude, my great grandmother was half Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's seen me, myself, and Irene would find that very funny. Oh, well, I was going to give them a chance to guess the movie, but come on. Still give them a chance, but I bet you they won't get it. <laughs> Alrighty, second call on the Black Star Zapdos, ladies and gentlemen. This is our, I think, fourth auction of the night. We're building up to the massive one tonight, the PSA 10 First Edition Dragonite are they going, Fossil are they Set. Going, are they going mental for these with the voltage? They are. All right, I'm going to grab another box then. I've got one more box, guys. Keep claiming. Claim them, guys. Claim, claim. I feel it in my Matt Harris says, cotton mouth. mouth. Brother, <laughs> brother, <laughs> that, you're getting a hunchback pack. <laughs> there you go, brother. That's for Matty Harris. Harris. Hey, Pokeron. Yo. Is there any other rookies you can pull in those hunchback packs? Um, I think there's a, a second artwork of Quasimodo. <laughs> it's not the um, there's a few nice little puzzles on... <laughs> There's a few uh, nice little puzzles and stuff in there. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, mate. I loved... Um, I think that was my dad's favourite Disney movie. He really? was a bit of a weirdo, though. I've actually got a hunchback of Notre Dame big statue in the fernery. Oh, yeah. You know when that's up, oh, up the top? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a hunchback. Alrighty, guys. Um, Alright, we're going to start off with the V's, Pokemon. We're going to start off with the V's. And we're going to drop the hammer soon, guys. So get your bids in. For the Black Star Zapdos, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get through these Vs without dropping the hammer. So don't snooze, don't snipe. You may miss out. Off the top for the Vs, we've got Jarm and Impy. He's got five. Jarmo. We'll go one, two, three, four, and five. Thank you, Jarman. Good on your legend. Your counting's really improved, Matty. My counting? Yeah. It's really gotten better. Yeah, I've done the old Billy Madison. I went back to school for two weeks and I've really just improved on my maths, English and whatnot. Uh, we got Mr. Petrovic. He'll take... Oh, I'm going to have to do some quick math here. He's taking 15. 15? Who just passed me 15? Right, probably give me quicker. one sec. Yeah, because I don't know if, if you got that that far in the counting. Well, but just give me one second. Here we go. If you was probably one, two, look two at my arm, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Thank you very much, Pokemon. Half a box right there. So there you Robbie right there. Next and up. we've got Emma. Papa, we've got five votes. Emma, one, two, Congratulations, three, Emma. four, five. All the best with that one. Thank you. And we've got Scotty Ty. Give him two. Uh, yeah, give him two. Tyo. Give him two. two. There we go. I don't think that's his nickname, but anyway. It is now. We'll run with it, Pokemon. He's giving everyone nicknames all day. Well, I've got a nickname for you, Pokemon. Try and remember it. Troy Maxwell, what's his nickname? Troy what? Maxwell. Maxo. It ain't Maxo, it's Cogsy. Cogsy! Give him five, Pokemon. Give him five. Get your bids in, guys. The Black Star Zapdos. We're dropping a hammer very, very soon. I'll be very interested to see what this auction's at. Still at $90 with Tamara. $90. We're dropping it soon, guys. Andrew Knowles. Give him three. One, two. Any relation to... Shannon Knowles? Yeah. No. What about me? <laughs> it isn't fair. Peter Victor, I'll give him two. They're coming Peter to you, Victim, Pete. Two, there you go, mate. There you go. We've got Tony Alessandrino. Give me five. One, two, three, four, five. Next. There you go. Uh, next, we've got Joshua Brown. Let's give the man eight. Brown. Could it be fate? Two. What's that? Eight. Eight. Sorry, little. Brown. Alrighty, that's eight. And we've got Kano Hutch, you want to grab me ten, Poke? You want to grab Hacha, me ten, brother? Hachi, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Andrew Knowles said Beyonce is my sister, boys, Hey. Oh, that's a, why did we go Shannon? We should have gone Beyonce, man. Hey, you're, you're now my favourite viewer, we, Andrew. We, 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 Can we, we catch we, up for dinner? We didn't shoot high enough. We didn't, Poke, on. Alright, next is Benny McClellan, he wants one. Okay, okay, okay. Warren Lakota, he'll take three. Give me one, three, Poke, two, on. Give me three of the best. There you go. 
All right, thank you, Poker. We've got Dana Hagen. Give it one. Dana. Dana, welcome back. Hope you've been well. We've got Bradley Brown. He'd like five votes, please. Browno. One, two, three. Kobe Choi's jumped in with Claymore V. They might all be gone, five. Kobe. I don't know. Legend? Don't know, brother. We'll see how we go. Next we're Dylan Moore. Be careful. Want, Dylan Moore wants four. Dylan Moore only gets two. Yeah, sorry, Dylan, but hey, at least you got some. <laughs> oh, and look, it was Kobe got in just a little bit late there, Poggy. He went to claim all of V. Claim all V. I'll do you a, who was it? Kobe, Kobe Choi. Kobe, Kobe the boy. good boy. If you want a box, I'll do you a whole box. Kobe, just let me know, and I'll, but I can't really beat eight bucks a pack. But if you want a whole box, you can have it, brother. Just and guys, know. just keep in mind, with the comments, they do sometimes come through distorted or sometimes don't come through at all. It all depends on what um, what comes through. We go off the official Welcome Stranger Collectibles monitor, so uh, it doesn't necessarily come up as you may see it. It does yeah, differ Kobe from screen to screen. So, Kobe, take the box. The good boy grabs a box. And Gabriel else? Killers Ugly, I don't think 20 bucks is gonna get it done, legend. I can lend you $9,880. That might get you a little bit closer. Check this out, guys. I'm bringing out something new to the table now, guys. I don't really know what... I don't really know much about this. They call it... Dubbz. Dubbz. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Try that. Um, don't know what this is. Now, but before we start claiming this Pokemon, we're going to drop the hammer on the Zapdos. I'll do it. I'll do the honest Pokemon. Because I did get some private messages throughout the week. They said I dropped the hammer better than you, so... Um, I'm gonna do the honors on this one. Whoa. Hingy, where are we at on this black star Zapdos? We're gonna have to drop it. Alright, we are sitting on... I'll give it I'll give it the quick 10 second countdown, Hingy, and you give me give me the price, we'll see if we get any final bids. Yeah. Ten! Still at $90. Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! There you go. Sorry, Angie, who took that one? Tamara. Tamara, congratulations. Tamara. Just be careful, you break something all day, mate. Well, I'm breaking it out of your easily paper. Break, break, break. <laughs> break. I'm guessing we're right. breaking the boxes, both of you. Neck, neck, minute, neck, minute. All right. Try this Try this one on, guys. This is the buzz. Not really sure what it's about. Uh, These boxes, as are, um, Probably six to nine months ago, they were they were easily accessible. Yeah. Um, they you can get them every, like sometimes, but they're really starting to dry up. This 2014, 2015 Dragon Ball Z product. So is this the stuff I was telling you we should hold on to? Yeah, it is. So, oh. But hey, times are tough. We've got to move. Oh. Yeah, nice one. Um, that's all good. I love giving things away. It's, Alrighty um, guys, next auction item is the Southern Islands Jigglypuff Pokemon in near mint to mint condition. Can you have a quick look at that artwork Pokemon and tell me what's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, first word that pops in your head, bang! Cutie, cutie pie. Cutie pie. Yeah, not that's bad. A, it's just a cutie. It's just this a cute is, little Pokemon. I know this... Um, I see a little weeping bell in the background. It's a real fa fan favourite, especially of the ladies Pokemon. They love the Jigglypuffs. Oh, who wouldn't? If you want to get wouldn't? something nice for your partner or your, for, or your miss or a girl that you want to make your partner um oh, too risky too risky what do you mean too risky well if you give it to her and she doesn't want to like well maybe you, you well, maybe you wasted a jiggly well maybe get her a first day dragonite oh then, that, then, then she, now she's got no choice yeah that's a done deal now she's got no choice all right pokemon toddy thurlow he's taking a pack toddy thurlow he's taking a pack why because he wants one <laughs> all righty uh we got mr petrovic he'll take five packs we've got one two three Four, five, good work, Robbie. That's five Wait, coming to you. Think the best on ground all day, Major. Hey, he's done it many, many weeks in a row. But another, a man who might just have Robbie pipped at the post is Jarman Impey. He's taken four. Jarman. He's, he's been pretty good. Yep, yeah. he's he's certainly got himself a nice spread of collectibles. We've got Brendan Dyer Setters. He'll take, uh, he'll take. Uh, let's do some quick man. He'll take four. He'll take four. Uh, David Coleman, he'll take three. Congratulations, Davo. Coleman. Right, these are flying out the door, guys. I reckon, oh, I don't know if we've got any more left. And we've got Jack Bryce, he'll take five. Five gone to Jeffy Bryce. Why? Because he's nice. All right, Jack Bryce. And we've got Thomas P, he wants three. I've only got two left, Legend. Two for you. Next up, we've got a little, um, got a little double attraction here all day, Matty Jake. 
Um, double attraction. Double attraction. Oh. What do you mean? Be that's we've been running that all night. Me and you, Pokemon. Oh yeah. Well, double yeah, attraction. True. Alrighty, first call in the auction, guys. We got the Southern Islands Jigglypuff. This is a beautiful looking card, Pokeron. The first word that came here said was cutie pie. Uh, let us know what you think of it. The Southern Island set, only 18 cards in the set. All the way back from 2001, 20 years old. $14 claim K, now what do you get? You get not one, not three, but two. Sealed Pokemon sticker products, both from 1999. So for $14, you get one of each, guys. That's how we roll. Give that a try. And, uh, Crazy Pokemon. Yeah, well, I just thought, you know, let's get everything moving. Let's start off nice and nice. Nice Pokemon. I just said it before, guys. Keep in mind, we are reading the comments as we see them on the official Welcome Stranger Collectibles Monitor. Don't get frustrated if, you're, um, if your claim hasn't been seen or whatever. You can... Um, 100. You know, go again if you like. We'll um, we'll, we'll do our best. Now, I've only got what you see out in front here, guys. I don't have any more of these. So if you're keen on a couple of these, both vintage Pokemon products drying up by the day uh, in the in, on Earth right now. So get around it. Hey, Scotty Manley, how are we, boys? Looking forward to the dragon. We are doing well, Scotty. I know you're doing well. There's nothing feminine about you because your name is Mr. Manley. I'm doing great, Pokemon. How you doing? About an hour into the into tonight's show. I'm better now, Scotty. Too. Yeah. Well. It's good to have, um, we've got plenty of good company, but let's add another uh, great man to the show, uh, Scotty. How many, this let me know how many Ks. Yep, yep, What's that? Yep. All right, done. We've got Gabriel Killers Ugly with uh, one. One. There you go. Yep. <laughs> we've got Ty Holden with two. One, two, one, two. There you go. We've got... Jamie George with two Pokey uh, yeah, One, go. two. One, two. We've got Mason Carlisle with one. One. One oh. One oh. There you go. We've got China Quick. All right, let's. We've got China Quick with four. I'll take it, bro. I'll one, two. All right, <clears> one. <throat> yeah. Three, four, one. Two, three, all oh, yep. half gone already. Next up. Next, we've got Aaron James Marcher. Give the man one. One. Aaron hey. James Dean Peter Lizzie. There you go. Next up. All right. And Anthony Canazaro. Get the man three, brother. Three. One, two, three, one. Can two, you zoom in on the stickers, please? Uh, Jordan. Shut up. I'd like to know. Can't see what we're selling. Like can't see what we're selling. <clears throat> one of each. This is the tops. And the um, art box stickers, you so, get both packs for fourteen dollars. Uh, got we're on that one, uh, Jamie. We'll uh, sort that out for you one second. Uh, Guy Morgan, give him one poke. You're on one. There you go. Great value here. And let's go, Emma Brown. We'll go two for Emma. Two for Emma. Yeah. Can you just bring the camera a little bit closer? There we go. Next up. Alrighty, let's go where we are on the uh, auction, guys. Second call on the Jigglypuff. We've got less than one minute till we drop the hammer. And as for K's, I've got one, two, three, six left. So I've only got six of these packs. At $60 with Michael Kasu. I think... Ooh. Robbie Petrovich wanted one. I think oh, he yeah, I was going to say, I think he's... He, 74. Yeah, Michael Kosu, he's leading the way at 74. This is a sensational Jigglypuff from 2001, guys. Yeah. Southern Islands. And I've got James Lloyd's one here. So we're all yep. good? Yep. Up to date? Oh, and Jet Aquino wants two. Yep, we can see your comments, One, Jono. If Only brother. a couple left now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is that for me, Topper? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Should we do this next up? Are you going to stick around? Uh, or are you heading on? All right, too easy. <laughs> NBA oh, Slabs, oh. Elliot Troscott, a little bit later on tonight. Legend will... Uh, Any more Ks? I've only got three left. That were too cheap, Pokemon. I'll do I'll do all three for thirty bucks Jordan or something. Jordan Shadow wanted two. Two. There we go. One, two. One left. Thirty seconds left on the auction, guys. Get your bids in if you can. Poke your on. I'm gonna do this next up. Drop the hammer. This is actually a sensational purse. All poke on. Should we drop the hammer first and show them? Yeah, no shit. Alright. We'll drop the hammer in 10 seconds, guys. Pokemon's getting the next auction item ready. We've got Nathan Jones in the house. Any NBA tonight? Hingy, your legend. Sure is, brother. We've got some coming, Nate. Stick around, brother. We've got a great auction happening tonight. 1K left. Uh, claim K for 10? Oh, I was going to give it away. Give it to him for nothing. How's that? 
How's that? Was that claim K by ten? Yeah, that's what I uh, Let me see if I can do it. If yeah. I can do it, I will do it. You know what I'm saying, Pokeron? Silver Ooh. free Pokeron. Um, Let us know what you want, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What was that, Gus? Still for free if he takes 14. Uh, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Just com just waiting on confirmation on that one. Yeah, so did you want ten sets, Todd, or did you just want the one, brother? Either way, I do have 10 sets for you, Todd, and if you want 10 sets, I'll do it for 120, and that goes for anyone else as well. 10 sets at 120, if someone's keen. Um, all right, shall we drop this hammer? Let's drop it Sold. Any word on these 10 sets? $10 for one set. $10 for one set, oh, okay. No problem. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Has you, have you already got it? There you go, give them a free one for the stuff around. How's that? There we go. Uh, what was that uh, we'll have another Tower of Terror a bit later on, Goran. We're going to have a DBZ Tower. Not too sure when that will be coming, but it will be a little bit later on tonight. Now, the next, legend. next auction, have a look at this, guys. Now, this is a Pop 4. I'm glad, uh, yeah, check this out, guys. This is a, I want a real close look at this, because start off at the slab, give us a good look. Now, no one's ever seen anything like this on the show before. This is a first for us. 2016 Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword from the Skyward Sword set. It's a hollow. Look at the way the sword Link lights up. up there. Just Link lighting it up, dude. Zelda is a grail, guys. Zelda is a fantastic franchise. I reckon Zelda is going to come back in a huge way. I mean, it already has, don't get me wrong. But I mean, I don't think you've seen the best of Zelda yet, guys. Um... Check this out. Um, now, not only this, I'll give you a look at the back where there's a whole blur. It's Pop 4 as well, Pokemon. Pop 4. Pop 4 from 2016. Not many of these around, ladies and gents. 25% of the population uh, right in front of you right now, guys. So, oh, it's Z all good. Zelda, of course, was a huge game back in the early 90s. I don't know if it was the late 80s Pokemon, yeah. perhaps, maybe. Not only that, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep adding to the first ever Zelda package. Only four of these hollows have surfaced in uh, in this condition since 2016. I've also got a booster pack Aya. from the series, along with two other hollows that we're throwing in as well. Aya, Pokemon. So, this auction has kicked off, ladies and gents. It looks like we've got Dana Hagen leading the way at $120. Robin Williams, I'm pretty sure, named his daughter after the game as old Pokemon. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Poor old Robin Williams. May he rest in peace. Absolute personal hero of mine. What a great a actor he was. He did have a huge following back in the day. Sure did. Next up. How much for a pack, Steve Gaylord, who joined uh, us on the show last week, Pokeron, gave us a call, had a chat with the Pokeron, which oh, was lovely Steve to have him with us. Who are we going to chat with tonight? Should we chat with someone else? Oh, I don't know, Pokeron. I don't know. All right. We'll see. We'll see. But I think the someone pack... Someone give me a call. If someone, the next person to call me, I'll pick up and we'll have a chat. I think the pack... We only got one on hand, Pokeron, don't we? This is the only one. This is it. Well, this is all This the... is it. Now, remember the guy who I own 3% of? Yes, this is his. So, so you got three percent of this exactly. sale. Exactly. So or push it hard, so Pokemon. Push it hard, guys, because three percent of whatever these goes for is mine. Um, but in all seriousness, a huge franchise and a beautiful card. Very low population. Um, Jono Whiff says, "Give me a call, Poker, and you give him a call, Jono. You give him a call." What are we? Are we only at one sixty? We're at one sixty with oh Dana, but God. we only just started Poker. On about thirty seconds ago, the bid started. Benjamin Trevitt says, "Hey, hey, legends. Hey, look who's calling." Oh, it's a Bibi. Oh, Bibi. Look who's calling. I did I did see someone just before ask about uh, soccer cards. And you, we got any... Habibi. Uh, Habibi. Hey, What's going on? What's happening, bro? Nothing. Just waiting for um, 8 o'clock. Now, uh, listen. Now, no, it's, it's just me and you here, bro. No one can hear us or nothing. Um, just, oh. just, just, just joking. You're live on air. What's your plan on the Dragonite, brother? You going to 25k? Not, no, not that high. What's your plan? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Now, usually, I've noticed with Habibi. Ah, just hold that up there. I've I've noticed you, bro. You like to sort of wait around the wings, wait for the right time, or are you just gonna come out banging tonight? What do you, what's your what's your plan, bro? Uh, you just you just go by thousand dollar increments. <laughs> oh, Habibi! <laughs> <laughs> 
thousand buck increments. Now, do you have one of these Dragonites yet, bro? Or is it? Will this be your first one? I've got one in a non-hollow. You got the non-hollow. Well, you need so he needs it. You need it. You need it. You need it, bro. Um, Wicked Brian, tell me, do you have any uh, memories with this particular Dragonite card, like, or is this just something you've always wanted? Did you have this when you were a kid? Nah, I just want it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bro. Nice. What yeah, um? Just... What do you like about it? Do you reckon it's a good investment, or do you just like the look of it, or you're buying it for your muzzles? Like, what's the story? Oh, look, it's, it's basic principle, bro. First edition holo. That's Give it, it another years, you'll be cursing that you sold it online. PSA ten. Hey, how's that fourth print PSA um, nine Zara sold you for seven hundred bucks? Oh, it's going fantastic. But you know, <laughs> so is all the other stuff that you sold me. Oh, thanks, bro. Well, it's, uh, oh, that's good to hear, bro. That's good to hear. So we're going to be talking to you, Habibi, very, very soon. Now, I'm going to give you a little prize for uh, joining us on the show tonight. First call in the auction. Check this out. Saeed, you're getting three of each sticker pack to chuck in your ever-growing vintage Pokemon collection. There we go. Thanks very much for the call, Habibi. Now, wishing you the very best of luck, bro, with the Dragonite tonight. To be honest, bro, I'd love to see it go into your collection. Um, and you're, you're a top bloke and uh, you got probably one of the best collections going around, bro. So great chatting to you and uh, all the very best, bro. We're now 32 minutes away. So um, wishing you the best of luck from everyone at Welcome Stranger, brother. Thanks. Much love to all you boys. Thank you, bro. I'll talk to you soon, baby. Yeah. Catch you, bro. Alright, 160 with Dana, and they seem to be holding off for it. Oh, that's that's first call, guys. We got less than two minutes, so we dropped that hammer on this particular. Option. This is going very cheap. Well, look at the value program. You're getting a pack. You're getting a pop four PSA ten Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and you get getting a couple of uh, raw cards here, which are like pop four PSA ten holographic. You know, uh, either either Dana's the only Zelda fan in town, or these guys, or maybe she's working her charm. I don't know what it is, but this I expected to see much, much, much higher. Well, I think with this Pokemon, when you do find a card that's obscure, low pop, and if you don't know too much about it, I think this is a situation where it's not a bad idea to get out of your comfort zone, try and acquire the item. I like to say uh, collectibles are all about uh, the, the famous saying, Pokemon, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Yep. And look, I understand everyone likes Dana. She's a, she's a, she's a great person, but I don't know if, I don't know if they like her this much. You know what I mean, old Dame Matty J. This is yeah. a great card. Having said that, after this break that I'm about to do, I'm gonna drop the hammer. So check it out now. We'd be the infamous. You heard of us? All right, that's second call in the auction, guys. Second call. This Claim is X for ten dollars. Box fresh upper deck. Michael Jordan. Milk Cap Tarzos, guys. There is Hollows right there. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. There's errors. There's just this is just a crazy product. Box fresh, guys. Get around that. Get oh, around. Oh, these are Tarzos again, Pokemon. Get around, MJ yes. man. Get around, MJ man. These were very popular last week, Pokemon, and preceding weeks too. There we go. Now, if you want to see how they look, get around those. Have a squeeze. Claim them ten dollars a pack. Straight after this break, Vayner looks like she's going to be getting the Zelda pack, the Zelda card. Are we still at 160, Inji? Macaulay Edwards yep. wants 1x. Macaulay Edwards, you want one, you get up. one. Gabriel Killer Zoglu, 1x. 1x for Gabriel. Uh, Dylan Moore wants 3x's. Dylan Moore wants 3. You get 3, Legend. Toddy Thurlow, give him 1. Toddy Thurlow, 1. Oh, I've seen someone say claim all. Look out, guys. Those who got in before that person, congratulations. Those who didn't, bad luck. Jess Smythe, one. One for Mr. Smythe. We're going to drop the hammer on this Zelda auction in a sec, guys. We're claiming X's ben as we speak. Mr. Man, who next? Benjamin Trevitt, claim all Jordan. Oh, there you go. Hey, me. Let, let's do a count, Pokemon. Yep. We'll do it. You count them, Pokemon. We'll have a quick two, last three, look four, at this Zelda auction, guys, because we did say we're going to drop the hammer once Ten. this uh, box break 13. is done. And it looks 15. like it, it is with Benjamin Trevitt, who's taken the remaining Jordans. Congratulations, Benny Trevitt. How many did he get? 15? 15. 15. Looks like Dana Hagen's going to take down this Zelda auction. Are we still at 160 bucks, Inji? Yeah. We're, we're at 160 bucks right now. Alex Boardman, $160. Get your bids in if you want to... Take home this Zelda PSA card, Skyward Sword, uh, PSA 10 Pop 4, along with a pack and two cards here. We've got Miona. Miona, Miona. There you go. 
gonna pass those Jordan packs over all day. Yep, no, yeah. Yeah. Next up, check these out. While everyone's hot on the Jordans, check these out, guys. So X's are gone. All right, Dana's taking we're, this option. All, we're at 165. Oh, Alex was Warman's about to drop it. In. Alex has said no, Dana. Dana no, Dana. Dana? Dana, Dana, Dana. No. Dana. Dana. 170. Uh -oh. Dana. And now we're Dana. And now we're popping in too. Dana. They've said no. All right, Dana. Just relax. Everyone, calm down. What do we do? We Dana, Dana. They've said no. Do we do right. the 10 second counter or do we do do another break? Oh, uh, well, I've just released this one. Check this out, guys. Claim O. Oh, Thirty five dollars. Now this is like a. This is to give you an idea of the size. This is about the size of an uh, old uh, VHX, uh, VHS um, box. Um, and in these, you actually get six hollow foils of the upper deck Michael Jordan boxes, guys. I've only got a few of these, very limited. I think I've got about five. And I'm gonna do them for a bargain price, $35 each. And that, of course, includes your shipping, which is probably, um, so I've only got the five of those, I think. I may have one or two more if the claims are there, but not many of these, guys. And for our NBA fans, if you'd like to claim a silver prison LeBron James, I've got one right in front of me here, guys. You can claim that for $320. That's in gem mint condition. Panini from 2018. Have a look at that beautiful looking card there. Any O's coming through? Yeah. LeBron with the Lakers. How many you got? That's you. 320 you got bucks total? if you can. I only got five. They're all sold. So first one, Macaulay Edwards got one, Gideon got one, Benjamin Trevitt got two, and Drew Barsley got one. There we go. Fantastic. All right, we dropping this hammer. Where we at? Are we still at? Are they still going? Give us Dana a Hagen at 180. Okay, okay. Dana Hagen at 180. Should I give it the 10-second countdown, Pokemon? Um, yeah, if you like. All right, 10-second countdown coming now, guys. Get your final bids in. Dana Hagen is currently leading the way on this auction. We're gonna get it started now, guys. 10 second countdown starting now. 10, nine, eight. So, oh, we've got Jackson Conley now sneaking in at 185. Just teasing me, Pokemon. Just gets me to eight before we got to start again. All right, 10 second countdown starting again. Don't snooze. Dana, I like that bid. $15 more than the last one. Putting your opponents to the test. That might take it down. Dana. We're gonna go again. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we're dropping the hammer. Dana Hagen takes it home for two hundred dollars. Dana, congratulations, Dana! Sensational Fantastic effort there. Stuff. Next. Uh, let's have a look at this, guys. This is another very exciting thing that um, another first on the show. We're full of firsts tonight, guys, aren't we? Claim W, $24. Have a look at these, guys. Now, this is... Wait till you see these, guys. Wait till you see these. Michael Jordan. Milk caps. Only 10 packs per box, guys. $24 each. Have a look at this. Now, again, like I always say with this vintage product, don't open it, guys. Don't open it. I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. Have a look at this. So we've got these huge. Oh, Pokemon! What are they? Be What's that? That is a oh, a little slammer. Uh, has seems to have come out of one of these packs. These are very old guys. So, like I said, be very delicate with them. They are box fresh. Get around these guys. They are absolutely. They're Fantastic. sensational poker. Have a look at them. Give <laughs> Macaulay Edwards one. One. Done. One coming to you, Macaulay. Poker on. We're less, than, one. we're less than half an hour away from the Dragonite oh option. Are God. you excited? I'm very excited. I thought you were going to say, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are you excited, Mystery Man? Oh, hell yeah. That's right. Todd Thurlow claims Slammer. Okay. Hey, Todd. Yeah, done. Mm. I'll give him a Slammer. $24. Now, they, they sort of stand up. If I was you guys, I'd just be displaying them exactly like Yarman that. Yarman Impy, he wants one. There we go. Should we go next auction item, Pokemon? Let's do it. Have you got one over there? Um, uh, no, I don't. Um, oh, oh my God. God. Let's get you things. One. Let's get things moving. I thought I gave you a couple all day. No, they're Jeff. gone, Pokemon. We've they're well gone, brother. Are they really? Who who next, Mister? Yeah, Carnvo one. Carnvo one. Mitrovic one. 
Robbie Petrie, hey, he's, he's, he's neck and neck. He's either first or second for the best time around. I'm going him or Jarman. Yeah. Benjamin Trevor, give him two. Trevor? Trevor, yeah. Trevor. Trevor. Two. All right, if we go auction camp, we've got Do our next... Two more, once one. One. Wow. Be very delicate with these packs, guys. Yeah. Auction. They are box fresh. They seem... Exactly, net wants one. There we go. All righty, we've got our next one auction more. item, guys, which is a 2004 Togepi from EX Team Rocket Returns, number 50 or 109 card set, near mint condition. That's our next auction item, guys. Get it going before it gets you going. Last W... Any on more hand. W's coming through? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, Jed Aquino and Drew Barsley. One and two. Thank there you, you Pokey Ron. Okay, Coolio. Um, so, sweet. Um, you got the next auction item coming yes, up I all do, day, mate. Okay. Yes, Fantastic Pokey. stuff, mate. Really, really great stuff. Steve makes a good point, Pokey Ron. Yeah. If Jono if wins the Dragonite tonight, yep. do we have a kebab with the man and hand deliver it? Yep. Oh, Hell nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Done, Jono if. Don't no. count those pennies. But if he doesn't win it, he needs to hire out a minivan. Bring it here. Bring the here. No, 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 no. This is what he has to do. Are you ready, oh, Mr. Is man? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, man. He needs to hire out a minivan. Yeah. Come here to Altona. Yeah. Pick all of us up in the minivan. Yeah. Take us to Lippo's. Yeah. We order whatever we want from Lippo's. Yeah. He pays for it. And he doesn't have any lipos. Nice. Then he drives us back here. But before we go here, because it's a long drive, we stop over at Altona North Maccas, get another snack. Top it McFlurry. Yeah, top it McFlurry. Then he drives us back here. And then he goes home. And we stay here and have fun. And he pays, yeah? He drives, he pays. Yeah. And then, and then we um, watch a few movies on Google Play and with his credit card. <laughs> How does that sound? Hey, that's a, like, that's a, like a great exchange Pokemon. Yeah, nice. Do we're done with it. We're done with it. On the well, I was going to say, is it? Oh, I thought it was Guy Morgan, but yes, you're right. It's Tamara right, P. Please. Guy Morgan, you need to come in at $36 or more. Jackson Conley, you need to come in at $36 or more because uh, my good friend, Tamara P., she's leading the way and she's. Uh, it's still $35, Tamara. 50 now. Now, guys, here it is Batman. Metal. Tell us about these, Hinge. Now, this is a fantastic set. There's four to the artwork, so it's $32 to the set. But what can you tell us just in general? Because you were telling me, and I found it absolutely fascinating, this is not the Fleer Ultra. So Fleer had, at the time, they had two different sort of um, levels of quality. First one was the Fleer Ultra, which was sort of their basic cards. And generally the first one they bring out for the, that season, yep. that year. Second one was Metal. Yes. Uh, and that was, of course, the, that green Jordan that sold for all that money uh, a yeah. little and while some ago. Some of the metal cards, if you, if you just sort of jump on eBay in the sports world, you'll find an infinite amount sort of above that five to $10,000 range per card. Really? Is there a box um, stopper? Not in this no. one. No. Not in that one? Um, yeah, and, and this, this set, in my opinion, even through Marvel, Batman, the non-sport stuff is extremely undervalued. The Marvel stuff, because Marvel have um, sets with metal as well, Pokemon. So really? you can get, you know, the precious metal gems in the Marvel characters. They started them in 95, and then they still made them up to 2017, I think. Holy shit. So these cards, are, I reckon there's going to be a bit of a boom just with the metal set Ooh. from the 90s. I agree, man. And I opened a few boxes of these, and I might I say they're the coolest cards I've ever Seen. When you a lot, me some of those yeah. that come out of them. Oh man. A lot of love was put into the manufacturing of these. This Pokemon. was sort of the heyday of trading cards in general, wasn't it? I yeah. mean it was um, 95? 95, correct. So uh let's go on those. Alright, Z for eight dollars. I reckon you're moving them too light, Pokemon. But that's what happens when you bring it to the uh to our audience Pokemon. They generally start at a very, very reasonable price. Second call on the Togepi, guys. What a Togepi. EX Team Rocket Returns, guys. What a fantastic set. Now, uh, are we still at 50 bucks with Tamara P? Yeah. EX Team Rocket Returns is that set that yeah. it's got that infamous uh, Torchic. That, um, that Torchic that's worth like 30 grand. I'm pretty sure that's from the EX Team Rocket Returns set. Right. I've seen someone in uh, Pokemon Australia who had an uh, EX Team Rocket Returns set um, today, which is a huge achievement, and it was the jewel of his collection as it as it probably would be for most people. Four packs for Robbie Petrovic. So congrats on that. 
And you... we've got four packs for Ivan Osorio. Here we go. Hey, you're going to love these guys. These are some of the best looking cards I've seen. Uh, in recent times, Pokemon pulled them out. I had no idea where he found them. I said, Pokemon, what? What are those? Oh, Maddie Asprey will take four. Four coming to Maddie Asprey. We've got Toddy Thurlow. He'll take one. Toddy. Jacob Ellis, he'll take four. Say no more. Nice, no guys. Like, like I said, if you're on a bit of a... Like I always say to the viewers, the guys that watch all the time, if you're uh, 18 minutes till the Dragonite, Pokemon. Um, if you're on a little bit of a um, budget, guys, um, you know, stick to the holding for stick to these vintage packs. Stick to the vintage packs, guys. Cheap, affordable, well underpriced. The fact that you can, I mean, we were just selling vivid, uh, vivid voltage packs are around that eight, eight to ten dollar range. The fact that you can get this vintage stuff for that price is pretty amazing to me. It doesn't, I mean, I understand vivid voltage. Everyone wants that big Pikachu, and there's good cards in there, but. This stuff is old. This is this is nearly half a decade older than um, you know your base set Pokemon cards. Two for Jarman Impy. Uh, we've got what's that? Marty Flynn. Marty Flynn. Art set. He's got four. Next one up is Hayden Walter with an art set. Hayden Walter. Yep. Yep. Well, we haven't got many left now, guys. Not many left now. I've got. Han Vo with two. And I've got Jordan Shedderline with one. What's a Batman? What's a Batman, eh? There you go, there two you go. Riddlers left. My personal favourite, the Riddler. Two left, guys. Two, two um, yeah, Riddler, you said it right. Great, great, uh, great to see Jim Carrey in that, uh, in that role. Clay and Jay here for a sealed top super-sized chrome pack of five, including... Uh, now, this is one of the... Uh, this is a year 2000 product, tops, um, super-sized cards. The first and the most appealing thing about this set, guys, have a look. Guaranteed Charizard card there, man. Absolutely fantastic. Probably the earliest product in history with a guaranteed Charizard in it. Um, and the first oversized uh, Charizard ever made. So that there at 250 bucks is a bit of a steal if you ask me. Best quality item we've probably had on uh, Up For Claims tonight. We got, let's Jack drop this token. James Jakubevich, sorry fellas, he wants one of the Riddler packs. Done, Riddler James Jakubevich, no worries, brother. We're at $60 on this Toby Pokemon. And Uncommon from oh. EXT Rocket Returns. 60 bucks, Mark Riddle. Well done, Mark. Marco. Next auction item, Pokemon. We are, how long, Pokemon? We're 16 minutes from the Dragonite. When should we take a break, Pokemon? Around five minutes left? Before? Yeah, yeah done. Oh, Pokey Ron, this one, this one is a nice little taster form. This is what we call the entree. All right, um, so what I'm going to do is Jackson I'm. Comments has claimed two, but we think we're only, only got the one, only left. one left. There you go. Take it away. We've got a Evolutions Reverse Hollow Charizard in the auction cam, guys. Charizard Reverse Hollow, beautiful card. This one, five years old from the EX Evolution set. Peter Macri done well tonight all day, didn't he? He said, can't believe I pulled a Dragonite, boys. You're legends. Oh, I know. Oh, what there the you hell? go. Legend, man. Have a look at this, guys. Hoops. First of all, claim R. $14 a pack. Look at the Michael Jordan card you can get out of this uh, box, guys. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Charles Barkley there as well. But have a look at this, Jordan, right there. Slam dunking that in. Number 23. Old... A bit of a superstition as with the Jordan on the front of the box. What do they say? Because, well, in the case, you generally, you don't know how, like who's going to be on the front of the boxes. So Ooh, there's okay. four or five different players, and they just reckon the Jordan's a good sign. Jordan! So there everyone we go. seems to keep those those particular ones for obvious reasons. Jordan! Jordan. Um, get around these. Number 23, Michael Jordan of the Chicago yeah. Gabriel Killers Bulls. All right. Claims three. Hold on, Gabriel. We need to open the box first, man. But right. Gabriel to kick us off. Here you go, Gabriel. NBA <laughs> hoops from 1990, 1991. How many was that? Get it going. Three. Before it go. gets you going. We're at seven. Oh, no, we're at $100 in the auction with Robbie Petrovic. Oh, look at the old school logos oh. on these packs. And look at the girls Pokemon. Look at it. Is it true they never paid that bloke for using his uh, likeness on the packs? Yeah, Jerry West, I believe, doesn't get any royalties from the logos. Really? Oh. And, that, that, and they never actually acknowledged that it was him, yeah? Jerry West, was that uh, the... I think um, they, they do acknowledge the it was him. Was he the owner? No, no, he was just a star like Who was the other... Who was the guy named Sam West and he was like, what, he owned like it? Have a look at these. Jerry Buss. Jerry Buss. Jerry Buss, Jerry Buss, Buss, Buss owned the yeah, yeah, Buss and West, I confuse those all Sorry, the time. Anyway, um, let's <laughs> yeah. get these Hooper packs going. 
Here you go, all day. Talk, talk to me. There you go, there you go, take it, take it. Gabriel Killer Look Zogli. at a big slab of vintage goodness right there. Claim Gabriel ours. takes three. Ours, man. Claim Jackson your ours, Conley. man. He'll take one. Having fun, Jackson Conley. One what? is better than none, just. Well, exactly, and Mason Carlos says, I'll take one. Benjamin yeah. McLennan, Pokeron, said apparently George Clooney was actually forced to be Batman because of his contract. Really? Cole Edwards yeah. won. Was that, was, did Clooney have the bat nipples or did, um... Oh, I can't remember. No, I don't think it was Clooney, was it? It was, uh... Five for Jarman Impey. Who had the bat nips? I think it was Clooney. Bat nip? Yeah, I think it was Clooney. Was it? Maybe that's Thank you. Want to do it. We got four for Elliot Truscott. I, I, I always liked Catwoman. I thought she was. I thought she always had a great personality. Yeah. Yeah. Great fashion sense as well. That leather and whip and everything. And mm. yeah, handlebars. Hey, yeah. It was very naughty, wasn't it? Oh, All yeah. day, many day. I like. Yeah. I like leather and whips. Pokey Ron. Hey boys, boys, boys. <laughs> Catwoman in the house. Oh, very <laughs> feisty tonight. Here you go, all day. Very feisty. Uh, Clooney uh, had the bat nips. Yep. Ty Newen. Ty Newen takes two. Silver nips of the wind. Robbie <laughs> Petrovic, he's, he's now best on ground again. Sorry, Jarman, he's just overtaken you, mate, oh, but you're still not fun. Still time, yet. still time. Oh. Jarman, Jarman takes the Dragon Knight down, he'll... Uh... Oh, well, he takes the Dragon Knight down, he's won, the, he's, won, he's won best on ground for the season. Brello. Bre yeah, the Welcome Stranger Collectible Brello medal. Ty Holden. Speaking take of the bat nips, was that Batman Returns? You tell me, Pokemon. Yeah. You tell me. You're gonna get some bat nips out of one of these. Alrighty, things. first call on the Charizard, guys. Evolutions reverse hollow. Bat Where nips. are we at? As Gideon Hayes grabs two bats. Who can tell me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who can tell me uh, the uh, the actual name of the penguin? What's his actual name, first Ooh. name, and surname? Carnvo gets two bats. Oh, see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying. Yeah, Michael I'm saying. Lay takes a pack. I don't Pokemon. actually know the name. Um, me neither. Thomas uh, P. Here, come here, come here, come here. Thomas P. You get a pack I legend. And Scotty Manley, nothing feminine about you, brother. You got three packs. We're three. One twenty with John O'Wiff, boys. One twenty with John O'Wiff. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Not, not bad. Not bad. Hey, and... Tomorrow P. Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> there we go. You get a pack, and I'll give you an Oswald Cobblepot card as well, aka um, Danny Devito. There you go. And if you want one of these packs, claim Z for $7. Get yourself some bat nips. <laughs> That's for you, Charlie. Very nice. Said too long without a bird screech, eh? Um, beautiful card. Oh, yeah, night, get around them. I mean, as if this Batman stuff isn't going to go up in value, man. Especially sealed packs on mint cards. I know, Pokemon. As if it's still under $10 a pack. Yeah. All right, have we got any more claim arts? Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, you talk, talk to me, mystery. We got, we've only got a few left. We've only got five packs. Yeah, uh, Mitchell Westwood. Two packs. Two packs for Mr. Westwood. Westwood. And Westwood. Then Shannon Williams wants six. Well, we've only got uh, three left, Shannon. Okay. As if these aren't going to boom at some point. Congratulations. 125 in the auction. 125. Who's winning that one, Ingy? That's uh, Luke Jackson. All day. Luke Jackson. Action Jackson. He's back. Jacko. He's back. Jacko. He never left. Someone buy it. Luke Johnson. Luke, Luke Johnson. Johnson. He's going to save. He's going to save. All right, yeah. There we go. Any yeah. claims on Z's? Seven bucks a pack for the Batman Returns? I didn't actually get a Batman card. There wasn't one. Imagine that. You left them all in there. Oh! Who is it? Who it's is the, he? It's the Pokey Don! It's the Pokey Don! He must have heard the Dragonite auctions coming along. Hey, how about some love hearts for the Pokey Don? How about some love hearts? He hasn't been on the show for about six damn months. He's, been, he's been very, very, very busy. What about some flames for the Pokey Don too? Flames, love Ooh. hearts, cool faces. How about a chair for the man? He's oh, standing he up there. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, like the Fantastic. <laughs> a couple of packs all day. Pokey Don started this gangster shiz back in the day. Two packs was it? Mystery. Oh, I wouldn't go yeah, that far. So, um, but nah, started on these shows, guys. Thank you, thank Plenty you, thank of you. love for the Pokey Don. What have we got? Um, what have we got? We got a uh, Jarman wants to Charizard here. Two packs for Jarman. Beautiful. Uh, Ev Evolution's absolutely uh, blowing up lately, Pokey Don. As you know, mm. Um, mm. you know they out all the dragons tonight, Pokey Don. Yeah, we are. We are. And then and then we had the Tower of Terror, and someone pulled the Japanese variant of the Dragon. As well, so oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go, it's, it's, all, all, happening. Happening. it's all happening. Jess Smythe, better believe it. The Don's in the house, brother. All right, we're gonna have one more auction before the Dragonite, though. What do you think of this Pokemon? Oh, another. Oh, 
Oh, Another dragon. Pokedon brings the WB promo. Oh, Good one. thinking. You, you, you're getting them warmed up on the Dragonite's Pokedon. Hey, hey Pokedon, yeah. quick pop quiz. Yeah. What do I love about this card? Um, oh, Golden the Bossman? Yeah, that's, that's it. right. That's <laughs> it. Uh, didn't someone change their name to Golden Bossman in the chat? They also changed their name. But where's he they gone? gone? Oh, oh, was once one pack. Who won the last auction? Do we know? So is this up for auction next? Is a Pokemon? Yeah, because we've got yeah. nine minutes till the Dragonite. All right. So and we'll I actually, it. I actually just um Luke got an interesting it. phone call. Someone's coming right oh, for a live bidder. Really? Uh, he yeah, he's, he is a um he's a regular on the show, okay. but the, the, the people will probably be able to guess it. But um right, yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for a, a surprise anyway. Nonetheless, right. no we, dramas. Let's drop this one and get right, the, get the on tray Dragonite prepared mm, before right. we go to before we go to main course. Peter Van Leeson, I got one all day. Really? How much? Yeah. One set. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll yep, to that now. I think. Uh, I put it in the thing, didn't I? Uh, Do you want to show the picture? Sorry, John O'Leaf took that one home is, for 200, is Kylie $200 Burger. for the reverse holo. Top Kylie was there just tagged. We we'll tag her again, poke you on. Is Kylie watching the show? Let's, let we, let's see. Um, we're going to get this Dragonite popping. This is going to be a short auction, guys. We ain't got time. We ain't got time for that. The Z's are going away. I ain't got time for that. Um, so Kylie, why does that name ring a bell? Pokemon? Because she won our first edition mm, Dragonite that we done with those Cheese years TV. ago. But hey, it's still a big, big, big card, That's and you're it. promising back then that it was going to be a good performer. That's it. That we gave it away, and of course, with the I won't spoil the video, but we had some very special guests help us give it away as well. Mm -hmm. um, they got right behind us, and uh, a couple of legends in Australian Pokemon, uh, really Australian cult, um, pop culture, really. Mm. Um, so absolute pleasure to meet them and do a little bit of work with them a few. Years ago. And I reckon for blokes around our age, probably the biggest names in pop culture, period. Probably the coolest guys out there, let's yeah. face it. You know what I mean? You don't get much no cooler bigger. than that. Definitely not. No cooler. No cooler. We're at 1.30 on the auction with Petrovic. Yep. Um, okay. So, what do you think about this particular... Now, can we... Um, the gold embossment isn't really shining all that much, but, I mean, look, we all know it's there. We can see it. That, uh, this is a beautiful, um, beautiful Dragonite. Uh, it was in collaboration with uh, Warner Brothers. Um, and we say all the time that you really just want to get around cards like this because they are collaborations with famous companies, uh, both Pokemon, Nintendo, Warner Brothers, all sort of getting together on this one. This is my personal favourite of the set, even though you had other very likeable and well-loved species like Mewtwo and Pikachu in the set as well. Um, but, you know, the Dragonite was always my favourite. I believe it was the first one I got from back in the day. Um, so Another little interesting point with these, because obviously I'm hacking away at this set myself in PSA 10. I only yep. need a few more. Yep. Um, the the that, entire Black Star promo set you yeah, in there? Yeah, yep. 54 card set, including the uh, Ancient Mew, if you sort of include that as a secret rare. Uh -huh. But what's interesting about these is there was obviously the, the number one Pikachu, and then the WBs came out number two, three, four, and five. Really? So they're actually, well, if you look at it, it's number yeah, five. So these are like, that's, this is the fifth ever promo in Pokemon, period. Holy you shit. You know what I mean? I've never actually seen, yeah, because I just, when I looked at it, I, yeah, you're right. Hmm. Because so, if you looked at any of the other ones, it would kind of look like maybe they were numbered to that specific set. Like if you look, see, the Electabuzz might be number two, and you just assume that was number two of the set. But with the five being only four in the set, that's actually five of the entire Black Star correct. promo set. And and I didn't the WB started at number two Pokemon. So I'm saying the WBs yeah, yeah. were the second lot yeah. of promos ever to be released in Pokemon history. Did, yeah, there you go. Unbelievable. And being 1999, would this be the second potentially Dragonite? Ever released, uh, of course. To the I, I don't know the months and stuff. It might even could it, it even could, be the first? It could be like if it was sort of before Dra like before the fossil. release of Jungle and Fossil. Yeah. But, I, but um. But yeah, there you go. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, right. Five oh. minutes till the Dragonite, guys. Uh, the other Dragonite, I should say. Let's get it. Let's get her out. We're at three ten with that. Oh. oh, there she is. There we're starting it off soon. A uh, couple of people heavily interested in this uh, card. Are you sure you still want to do it, Pokeron? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, all right. We've let's gone this far. It. What's his um? What's his other Dragonite at at the moment? Oh, I think it's at three ten. One thing I've been say, one thing I've been saying lately, Pokeron. It's a wee bit that. I hope that doesn't do. Uh, that doesn't uh, reflect <laughs> on the other Dragonite, oh, brother. They're saving their dollars, Poke, uh, Pokeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But one yeah, thing I was going to say. One thing about the uh, WB promo set. Only uh, five cards in that set. A nice little set for people to potentially try and complete, sorry, four cards. Um, 
where you could get a full set of uh, from nineteen ninety nine, and you're not looking to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. Is Kylie Bergen Very watching? Very true. And there's not many of those subsets available in the early days as well, uh, all day. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, very, very true. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we are going to... Should we just... Yeah, let's let this go for another minute or two. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to play a little special video. And then it's Dragonite time. So hey, yeah. um, let's... Uh, Who's excited? We got a first edition Dragonite. Oh, I'll give it a round of applause, boys. Ah, <laughs> get up for it. Oh, shit, shit. Uh, making Pokemon history here. At the end of the day, only 210 of these in the whole world. Absolutely no doubt in my mind, Pokedon, that this card will achieve six figures one day. I mean, it's. I mean, look, when I was saying that a few years ago, it was more impressive because there was no cards at six figures. Um, but um, this card in particular. Um, you know, Sorry I think. Interrupt you, Pokey, right? We got a visitor. <laughs> oh, it's oh, are check, you ready? Stu <laughs> check, study, st oh. study, have a look at oh, the no, get up. Come on, rest in your patient. Oh, I think I got me out of bed. This is the common bit on this guy. That's oh, it, Study. Rocking up. What and have we got here? What is here, that, bro? Is that Versace, bro? What is that? That's that's just everyday get up. Oh, don't worry about me, boys. Man, uh, this card gone up yet? Uh, no, we got three minutes to go, study. We got three minutes to go. You're just in time. Can I, I'll right. bid on the video, but I'm a. No, I'm you not. can bid live, study. Yeah. I reckon we allow study. Look, he's a, he's a, he's a huge. I um, do both at the same time. I do both at the same time, bro. At the I same time, study's been a big supporter of the show for a long time. He is keen on this Dragonite. Uh, so we will see. Yeah, I reckon a few live bidders this makes for the um for the energy. Yeah, that's we just it. sort of got the energy up, and then all of a sudden a genie appears. Study's here to make it rain. Oh, that looks comfy, Study. How do I not have one of them, bro? What what is bro, it? I'll have to get you one. Yeah, that's a great it's idea. The V, bro. The V from um, I'll get you the long one though. This is what's a short the material one. like? Let me feel. It's Can like I, a towel, bro. It's like a towel. Mm. So if you, you get go. out of the shower, you're, you're a wee bit wet. It you doesn't chuck matter. it on and it just oh. absorbs all out. That's what, that's what I always thought. thought. Why don't they make towels in the shape of robes? I was actually thinking that. Because <laughs> then you can just put it on and just get you know get, get going. You exactly. know what I mean? That's, um, I can see you walking about the house. With yeah, I know. As well. Yeah, and nothing underneath. Just letting, just letting it all just... I thought I put something Fantastic. Outside, yeah. Fantastic stuff. after hours. My dad was big into the dressing gowns. Yeah. So, yeah, so was my old man. Yeah, there you Same. go. So I think it's an English thing. Yeah, English 80s thing. <laughs> Yeah, That's definitely. Good. We've got a few no, people trying to claim your robe, study. Oh, we're at 365 with Wusub's Take, take it off, or actually... <laughs> All right, I we're think at both a minute 40. Wusub's song, sing it a left. song. So we're basically going to drop this drag and go to the next, brother. Yeah, I reckon we... Um, let's just let it play out. Minute, yeah, minute and a half done. left. And then at, at the end of this minute and a half, we're going to play a very special video that we've, um, that we've prepared just for the special occasion. And oh. then... Um, and oh, Cody Ulchik. Remember Cody from back in the day, Pokedon? He was around for a, for a long time, a couple of years, Ooh, a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah, yeah, that's it. Now, hey, can we get. Um, nice, yeah, no, is, is Richie here? Is he around? Uh, I can you let. I saw him wander in the streets, Pokedon. Can you let him in? Well, that's yeah. a worry. Can you let him in? <laughs> well, that's a worry, wander in the streets. Richie, come straight through. I uh, guess, uh, marvelous to be. Thank you for. Uh, the invite, uh, Pokey Run, who's just uh, in the road. Whoa, and he's, what's she, uh, what's she counting there? Oh, he's just got, just got a bit of a uh, bit of cash in his hand. What was that? What was that? <laughs> his budget for the night, Rich. Is that Sonny really? Iron, the Pokedon? Marvellous uh, to be back with, uh, with you. It's been a while, Pokedon. Hope you've been well. What's, what do we got here? What's, uh, oh, that's a first edition Dragonite. You like that one, Rich? Well, I like the uh, PSA 10. I'm a bit like Donald Trump. I don't do nines. There you go. My PSA <laughs> greater cards, just like my women. 30 seconds. I thought you liked the fours, uh, Rich. Uh, that's when I'm on tour. <laughs> okay. That's when I'm on tour. <laughs> um, but yes, marvellous stuff. Mikey well, and Malik in the house as well. Yes, Everyone's Mike, here. Dana's Mike. happy to see you, Rich. Uh, Dana. Less than a minute. Might have to buy this uh, Dragonite for you, Dana. Ten, nine, let's draw. We're dropping this hammer. Where's the hammer? Where's the hammer? Where's the hammer? There it is. Yeah, you're right. a live ten. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing so much about it. Good. All, All right, right. All and right. Pokemon sold. Now that is sold. Who got that one? Uh, Elliot Truscott, three eighty-five. Elliot, Elliot. Uh, good, congratulations good job, on that. Now we're going to play one. a little video. When we come back, the auction will commence. Are we all set on the video? Let's do it.
you know, I remember when I was a lad. You remember me as a lad? Oh, you were there for it. Yeah, remember? I do. Yeah. And I was hosting that show Cheese TV that I did with you. Do you remember that? Yes. Had a lot of fun? A lot of fun. And a lot of Pokemon. I wish I could go back to my younger self and say, kid, these are going to be worth something one day. Yes, like a sports almanac. Well, that is yes. so wacky because we have Aaron Ellis with us. You two brought us Pokemon. Everyone out there in the hobby owes all their Pokemon knowledge, fun and love to you guys. So thank you very much. None of this would be here in Australia if it wasn't for you guys. The card that you guys are giving away, whoever's lucky enough to win it, I genuinely feel that it is a sensational collectible. We're going to give this away now. The Dragonite. And the winner is Kylie Bergen. Kylie, Kylie Bergen. Bergen. And we are off. First edition PSA 10 Hollow Dragonite. It has begun. Um, waiting for, starting at a dollar, absolutely no reserve. Um, and where's Rolly Crab at? We got us started, brother. Launch the missile. Yeah, where's Rolly Crab with, with his dollar bid? Rolly Crab bid to start us off. All right. Matt Harris starts us off, one dollar. There you go, Matty Harris, here you go. I'll give Five you a front stone. Right, and a Robin Hood to the opening bid. There you go. Opening bit, I get a few little, little giveaways from the Pokedon there. Fantastic. Um, got a bit of 500. We're already at 1,000 coming through. 2,000. We're at 5,000. We're at 5,000. Another 5,000. $5, What's the expected value of this Dragonite? I, I've always said this is a five figure card, guys. That's a five figure card. Five point, another 5K bid coming through. We've got some serious players in the house tonight as we hit 5.5 now. 5.5 now. We're halfway, halfway to five figures. That is uh, still very, very underpriced. One on eBay at the moment uh, that is um, uh, sitting at about six or seven thousand US with um, uh, with not with uh, over a day to go. Bid six k from Habibi. Habibi at six k now. Oh, Saeed, getting in on the action. Do, he knows, um, do a second auction. Six thousand, right. Tommy Fitzgerald, Tommy, Tommy boy, Fitzy. Fitzy in the house. Jared Pry coming in at seven hundred. Bom bom. Uh, bid forty seven. Kobe Choi, the good boy. Lol. Um, as we hit. Hey, Poker, I got some fun facts for you, brother. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, the pops on the um, on the Dragon Up with PSA, there's two hundred and ten in PSA ten. Yeah. Which makes out for ten point three percent. All cards sent to PSA are graded as a 10, so there you go. Uh, so, what's we'll that? Uh, it is currently. Currently at 6,000. Six, oh, sorry, 6,200. I'll go one up, 7K. 7K! Hash from Stotty! Stotty. Hey. Well, it's Stotty, so I better just quickly count it. Oh, we all bank of in your former life, bro. You yeah, get through that quick. Beautiful. Yep, that's seven. Seven K cash bid. Seven. seven. Let's get around that. <laughs> seven Can we get eight? Seven K cash. Now, Pokedon. Uh, sorry, I was going to say Pokemon. Uh, I saw a dragon that was sold um, a few weeks back uh, for just under ten grand. Really? So as, as we normally see. No, that with was these... a few weeks ago, bros. That was like three days ago. Are you talking about the PWCC oh, one? Yeah, that's right. So, and we all know after whatever sort of goes for PWCC, Pokemon, that's sort of the set price. Next mm -hmm. one sort of goes for a bit more. Yep. The next one sort of sitting about around that sort of mark already. Oh, with well, a few it's days a, a five-figure card. That's so what you people have it, to realise. Well and truly. And we gave well one of these away, Pokemon. Can you even believe that? We gave one of these away. And uh, Kylie Bergen, who was going to join us on the show, but I'm not sure if she's around. 7,500 with Tommy Fitz. 75, staying Tommy alive. Fitz. He says, no, Stotte. Oh, he throws Stotty another Stotty. monkey. Throws another monkey in. Tommy Fitzgerald, a very um, mm. promising young man. Uh, I was going to say, I can't really offer him out in the gym, can I? <laughs> <laughs> That's when you don't want to do <laughs> challenge. Don't want to catch those ones. <laughs> yeah. Open challenge to anyone else, though. Hey, k Poker, looks like we might be uh, delivering kebabs tonight. Woosub song is out. Sing me a song. <laughs> John O'Hee, is he like a Should, new guy? So I'll be seeing John him yeah. on the live. Yeah, he's been going hard. Yeah, he's been going hard. I didn't really know him like going going sort of John O'Hee, like. Pokedon, Pokedon, meet John O'Hee. He's a mate of mine, Pokedon. What's his story? What's his story? He buys a lot outside of that. Mate, he, he goes hard. Put yeah. it that way. He goes he hard. Did. And he loves... Um, 
He loves his Pokemon cards. But what I was going to say, uh, Pokedon, yeah. uh, a first edition fossil box is going for around 25000 So for those out there who want to try their luck, and maybe grade a 10, <laughs> no, it's going to cost that. you 25 grand. you are about a 10% chance of getting a 10. So good luck. And the crazy thing is, you only get 13 hollows in that box. You don't even and get the whole set. They don't give 10s anymore, man. The they, don't, they don't even open their doors anymore, let alone give 10s. <laughs> they don't grade any of them anymore. It's it just straight up swine. Jollies. And... Uh, we are going to go live on Instagram as well. They're calling for the hammer. Jeez. Calling cool for the hammer. Oh, Kobe started, the good boy. Troy, why are they giving it to him so hard? I don't know. The good Let's boy. Go. They're saying Kobe bid 10K earlier. Oh, no, no. He, 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 bid Kobe... 10, he bid 10K stars. I think it was a joke. Okay. He made okay. the no, joke. No, but then oh, I understand it's a joke and they're taking the piss out of him because even Lockie's saying Kobe been asking for Watsy for months. Yeah. <laughs> now he's silent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are going hard on Kobe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So these so days, Pokemon, they can... They can give, his name hard. Good boy. They can boy. give us stars. See here, these are the people that have given us stars. Ty, yeah, I've seen Ty something Holman, like that. Emma, so, what's the goal of it? Because I went to, like, just send one because it was an option. And yeah. you said, like, pay a dollar or something. What, what are you... Uh, I think it's like... It comes out well, here, it's only, of. like, a one cent per star. Okay. But yeah. it's like a donation thing to basically say good work, boys, or something. Oh, but, I'll, but I've been telling these guys um, we're actually planning on building our own galaxy. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to need a couple of hundred trillion of these. Um, so if you can get around it, boys, just just get on it. Yeah, nice. Um, fantastic stuff. Hey, look, another fun fact for you, Pokeron. Guess who used to own this card? A couple, um, couple of big names. Who owned this card? Taylor Harris. Yep. And then before her? Yeah. Me. Nice. <laughs> All day, buddy. Jay <laughs> sold nice. this card to none. Oh, there's a fly on it. My God. Uh, sold this card to Taylor Harris. Um, and now um, it could be yours. Now we live on Instagram. We are. Let's get a close up. Jump right in here. Jump right in here. Live on the welcome stranger. That's what we're doing, guys. Instagram world. Hello. We are auctioning a first edition PSA 10 holographic Dragonite right now. If you want to get involved, head over to the Welcome Stranger Collectibles Facebook page. We are live on Insta and Facebook at the moment. Um, so get around that. What is the current bid? Um, the current bid now. Eight thousand dollars with John. Eight thousand uh, Australian dollars. So if you're watching from the US, um, it is uh, you know it's probably about six thousand US at the moment. This auction is going to be over in the next couple of minutes, guys. So get on it. Jump on Welcome Stranger Collectibles um, Facebook page, and you can join in on this auction right now. We started off at zero dollars, no reserve. Um, so you can be a part of this uh, auction right now. Bang on, Reese Brewers. Taylor team. Harris, the legend, AFLW superstar and uh, two-time Australian champion boxer. This was her card, and before that, it was mine. So it's a beautiful card, and I think a great addition to anyone's collection, undoubtedly. Uh, it's sort of what do you in. think it's, Doddy? What, what was your bid at? Seven? What is oh, the bid? Well, they want They want it. They want Someone's it. Someone's on what, eight. eight. Yeah. Yeah, Are you out or what are you thinking? I'm waiting to see if anyone makes a jump. Tommy oh, Fitzgerald. I knew he was going to put someone 8 up. 8250. 8250. Yeah. Claim the 7K cash. He's got I mean, a couple of nice cards lately, Tommy F, hasn't he? I remember like, yes. reading this thing on E4 once saying that the Dragonite won in, not for the Series 1 cards, all the hollows, it won the most aesthetically appealing card, like, really? the voted number one, like the yeah, prettiest. I believe that. So, because at the end of the day, Zard's Zard's sensational, but it's not a pretty card. Yeah, is it? like you know they, I mean? yeah. This and if you think about like just, series one, it's just base it to Team Rocket. You got Jungle Fossil Base. Yeah. And there's not you know what I'm saying? With a rainbow. That's it. Background, is it? Well, Cause, and that's what they said back then. It was much harder to yeah. just change up those colors. Yeah. And the, so and the base. If you look at all your base set hollows, they only had one color behind them. Yeah. Um, but Jungle and Fossil was when they started getting a little bit more creative. Um, so is it at eight two fifty with oh Darren Nichols eighty two fifty now going once at eight thousand two hundred and fifty Matt Testro says Tommy well Darren Nichols just said last sale back in January was ten and a half k oh there we go so you're in and around that price range guys wouldn't surprise you because remember there is all sales because p- people know stuff you know what I mean not every sale is through eBay guys we make sales all the time off eBay well, look at this one there you go <laughs> record breaking prices all the time. Just over 6K US, which is an absolute steal. Taylor Harris in the house. Taylor. Taylor. We sure. have the Dragonite, which we are told uh, was in your possession at some point. Um, and then with All Day Matty J uh, prior to that. So 
thanks very much for being a, a part of the Pokemon hobby. Hope you're doing well. And we know we always know you're doing great things all the time and looking after yourself, both in footy and in boxing. Uh, what's that, Study? Currently at 85, 69. That girl's comment. Dana. That is fucking great. Have a, have a read of a study. Read her out. I'm a bit chunky like Dragonite. Send some 8K bids my way. I'll even paint myself orange. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was absolutely brilliant. There you go. You were a pack study. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that Rich's, um, uh, Rich's uh, faith? Yes, Ben. Uh, I just have a feeling a study might have me cover the youth <laughs> looks and just uh, devilish charm. So He's making it rain. Uh, give, uh, us some, give us some Flintstones and Robin Hood. There you go. Give us there some... Uh, go, Dana. some yeah, but that would do. She'll be... Uh, Study's gone to... Uh, you know where those cards come from? Bed moves. Bedrock study. Bedrock? That's where the Flintstones oh, yeah. came from. My bed will be rocking later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. I remember... Oh, yeah, actually, was, um, Nick Brady, I don't know if you're watching right now, but we sold him a, um, a Dragonite back in the day, and that was... Uh, I think he said he paid either 500 or 600 somewhere around there. So mm. they have performed very well over the last few years, guys. As you can see, currently at... 8,569 with Jono If. Get the kebabs ready, boys. I know. We might be going to get the kebabs ready. Oh, is Jono paying for the kebabs? For us. Well, he's oh, getting into the steel, yeah. so he should yeah. pay for the drivers. Yeah, I agree. And you're right, we just bring Saeed so he can pay. <laughs> 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 nah, he's a late Saeed. Where, where is he, Bibi? Is he still bidding? He said he was going to bid. Where yet, though? No, he, hey, saw, he, he was bidding. He was bidding, I think. Uh, Maybe he was looking for more of that half price range. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I think is a bit scary, Pokeron, if we look at some of the um, the past sales of other top-notch cards in top top-notch sets like first edition base, we saw the first sets at that sort of ten grand price point jump to 20, 25 grand. The growth can happen very quickly. So I guess Dragonite being a similarly um, you know beautiful card in its set, there's a chance that we could sort of see um, you know huge a similar growth. jump. I mean, like, that's the thing, like, when you're talking sort of your top 1% of top 1, like, uh, cards of top 1% sets, yeah. I mean, they are known to do those types of things, Matty J. Correct. Just keeping the point. And we are talking about the third ever set of a release, and it was sort of released in unison to the second set, wasn't it? Mm. So, mm. I mean, and is there really an argument of a better card than Dragonite in Fossil? I oh. mean, there's probably, what, Gengar, yeah. Lapras is hard to grey, but definitely not. You know, the best Powerfish in the house. Powerfish. 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 Um, going once, going twice now, $8,569. can't believe you're letting it go, Pokemon. Yeah, I know, can I we know. Can change our minds or? Oh, surely we can. Surely. <laughs> go 10k, you stinger. McKenna Fire, 9k. Ooh. 9k now. Ooh. 9k. Yeah. Looks like someone else is yeah. getting the bat. McKenna. The oh, she's going hard on the Dragon Up McKenna. Another, yeah, another individual with a very impressive Pokemon card collection looking to add the Dragonite to her ever-growing set. She better be buying that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. You study, you still got, you still got a, you How many likes has she got in her comments? <laughs> oh, no, oh, yeah. I get one like on my comment, she gets 35 straight away. You lads are filthy. Yeah. Hey. Testro is this. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you were always with us, Testro. Testro, you're a dirty dog. Oh, shit. What does she do? McKenna, you better be buying that for me. Dragonites make crazy things happen, study. Sorry. Just goes down like that. Some, so, John, if you slay it, Liam, is he 9,000? No. no. McKenna. McKenna. Oh, McKenna. 9,000? 9,000. It's on you, Jono. It's on you. Don't forget, you're not just getting a dragon, you're getting some kebabs. 9,000 bids against Stoddy. That's rude, Stoddy, bro. That's rude. She's coming over the top. What did that comment say last time? was 10.5 a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and then around that. And again, sort of like if you're going off PWCC, and it's I'm, always yeah. going to go sort of, you know. 
in and around that and more. And like of course, guys, present. remember if it's ten and a half thousand. Like, let's just say, for example, you bought this for ten and a half thousand off eBay. The last, like, the last person that bought one did. You've got to pay shipping for that, which is ridiculous on a card like this. Not that it's heavy or bulky or anything like that, but the insurances and the FedExes and the, and the all that sort of shit. Course, the, 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 yeah. Then you're going to bring it into the country, which is going to cost you import tax, which is about 10%. So you're probably looking at, I reckon it will cost you two, on, two to 300 in postage. So then you're at 10, 10, 7, 10, 8. Then you've got $1,000 um, tax. Uh, now you're at 11, 8. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 adds up quickly, and it's not you know man. you look at a price uh, last sold. Well, first of all, that was last sold. That's not what you can buy one on today's market for. Yeah. And second of all, the last sold is completely like Irrelevant. off. Like, and even by the time you run your your currency conversion, you know you run all those numbers. It's like you add twenty percent on. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. And guys that have actually bought cards of this magnitude off eBay know, you know, the cards just the start of the expenses. And the start of the headaches as well, because you're buying this card from overseas, you don't really know much about it, and it didn't come from Taylor Harris's collection, you know what I mean? Like, it's just someone's and from gets somewhere. up in customs, and I, if, you've, if you've bought five-figure cards before on eBay, even if you've done it three or four times, you would have copped it, because that's sort of the rate of the headache. Every sort of two, three times I'll buy one, I run into some type of Anyone issue. would like a kidney for 10K, Steve Gaylard has just offered. So, are we at, still at 9K with McKenna? Yeah. Yeah. 9K, going once. Going twice big now. Card. It's a big, big card, card, and it is it is quite cheap, isn't it? Poke your on oh, nine thousand. You got to be very happy with a locally acquired oh, dragon on a nine k. Like Finn said, if you got the time, you got the money, buy this card. You'll be on a yacht in ten years. It's just like a last name, though, isn't it? You've got to come first. Can't leave shout bid me. Yeah. It's I, mean, dollar, I like, okay. I like totally. the point you made, mm. Pokemon, about all the taxes, all the headaches you get with making these purchases online. You've got to wait for it to be delivered from overseas, add COVID into the mix, and all those sort of headaches. It can be stressful. It can be stressful. So, I mean, you've got the uh, peace of mind knowing that you're going to get this card within the next sort of five to seven days. Yep. John Wiff mm. will be getting it tonight if he gets it with a kebab. Lucky you know Webster, mean? goodbye for 9K, Lucky. Uh, what promising young talent from Team Alice Boxing Gym, nursing a bit of a sore back, I've heard. Hopefully you're all good, Lucky. Got a huge collection of cards and games. Um, another one who's uh, really well. yeah, <laughs> come in hard. Yeah. Good work, Lucky. Finn Wilson, how was my sales pitch? Yes, Finn. Oh, let's give him a look. <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look. Just remortgage the home. Oh, right my phone dead, is it? <laughs> John O'Ef. Who's tagging Logan Paul in the comments over here? <laughs> Kobe Joy. The good boy. Dan Lee, that's it. Um, okay, tax free. Yep, very good buy that, isn't it? Oh, Unless well. there's someone laying low in the cut. Finno, I would go love to show bump. these Ooh. guys your sales pitch, but my phone is dead. Oh, that was classical, wasn't yeah. it? Ooh. I saw it on your story. Oh. I actually even shared it. Just head, head to your Instagram, poke your on, and, and I'll be able to see it on your story there. Can you chuck this on charge for me somehow, can you? Thanks. Or if anyone's... Is your phone all good, um, Matty? Yeah, done. Just done. go to my Instagram, and I put it in... I saved it in mm. Pokey Tips Highlights. And give me a follow, oh. too, if you're not following me already all day, Matty, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, I'll find it, poke your on. Nice, poke your on. There we go. MT times two. So going twice, uh, going three times now. This is the third and final call. Are we still at 9,000? Hold, hold it and then the next one. Hold it and then the next one. Fino, I'm struggling here, brother. Hoping you can help me out. You know, I'm trying to sell this Dragonite tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Welcome, Stranger Collectibles Facebook page. Can you add something? Me, I reckon that you're actually mad to let this go because it's such a steal at the moment. 210 in the whole world. I reckon that if you were to get onto this card, that's a retirement fund right there. If you were to let this go and let it, let it do its thing, I reckon you could be looking at 100k, 200k, easy. Like I reckon that if you were to get into this now, you'd be able to sit back, relax, and be up in about 10 years' time. I reckon that there's not, there's not much better out there than this deal right now, and I reckon that... If you got the time, you got the money, check out Aaron's um, APA and get on it, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, cuz.
<laughs> what a star. Couldn't have said it better myself, you know. Three votes, you know. What a man. Eight. All right. We are going to be dropping the hammer, guys. Has there been any more bids? Nope. 9K is the price. I predicted this to hit 10K, but it looks like nine is what we have achieved what with it? McKenna. I reckon we've, got, we've probably got a few snipers laying in the grass, Pokeron, with an item as prestigious as, as this. You'd be um, surprised if there wasn't a few just uh, hiding in the bushes. Yeah. So I reckon we just put a bit of urgency on it. You watch them all come out, they'll go 10K, 11K, 12K. If we what? What do I have to do? To get those just put bits? the pressure on them, Pokemon. Well, I'm dropping the hammer. Let them know the hammer's getting hammer dropped. Man. I'm dropping the hammer, man. I'm dropping the hammer, bro. I'm telling you, man. Third and final call. It's going to sell, guys. It is going to sell. Should we Should we start the 10th? What, what, All right, 20 yeah. 20 second countdown. <laughs> nah, that's too long, surely. I'll probably be out of, I'll be out of air, I reckon, too, Pokemon. I reckon go 10. 10? Yeah. All right, you tell me when I start the 10 second countdown from Pokemon. All right. You tell me. In 10 seconds? Guys, this is your last chance. If anyone's out there thinking about snagging this, I predicted it was going to get hit 10k plus. Kyle Byrne, I think the snipers are scared, mate. Nothing to be scared of here, Kyle Byrne, when you're looking at a first edition Dragon on PSA 10. Very safe investment, guys, especially uh, such a early vintage card. That first edition stamp, along with the PSA 10, doesn't get much better than that, guys. I think this is an unbelievable investment. and um, I think it's a... You know, to have the tactic Pokemon, to acquire the item at all costs when you're talking about uh, desired species in limited supply. Oh, 210 of these guys. And of course, what we haven't said up to this point, the Rookie Dragonite. The mm. first ever Dragonite card. First edition PSA 10 Hollow. And Dragonite, no matter what set it appears in, always sort of demands that premium. You know, it's always that top three, four cards, whether you look mm -hmm. at like Team Rocket, um, you know, <laughs> any, any other set it appears in. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. And always got great artworks. All right, let's do this 10-second right. countdown. 10-second countdown. Kyle Burns calling for it. I'm going to start it now, guys. Snipers... Pay attention because here's your time to get your bids in. Good luck to whoever takes home this beautiful card. Record-breaking night for Welcome Stranger Collectibles. We're going to start now, Pokemon. Town! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! Three. <laughs> yeah, live at so much Two. Time. And one. Who's leading the way right now, Pokeron? Is it still McKenna at 9K? Sure is. Is McKenna still ahead? It's McKenna at 9K, Pokeron. All right. You've got the authority to drop the hammer whenever you see fit, brother. Let's do it. Sold. Well done, everyone. Whoa. McKenna. Yeah. Nine grand. Hard. At least sort of ten percent le uh, less than what I thought it was going to go for, but there we I'll go. Just grab that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tried, study Valiant yeah, effort, brother. Valiant effort. effort. Valiant effort. I but mean, your budget wasn't too far off what it sold for, so I guess have a realistic. look at I'll what. In for a quick flip, you know. Yeah, That's yeah, 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 quick yeah, flip. Quick That's it, study. Oh um, yeah, that was. Um, uh, you know, I expected that to hit ten. I must say, but uh, nine still a great effort. Historical moment here, guys. One of the best cards we've ever had on the show. Thanks so much for uh, everyone who tuned in. Stoddy, thanks for popping in in your Versace robe, yeah, chucking cash know, around, bruh. Yeah. Sensational. Pokedon. Well, you know it's a big card if we've got the Pokedon, you know, coming over. He, he, he only comes over for the prestigious items <laughs> Pokeron with That's that top-end knowledge. That's it. And um, always great to have him in the house sharing some of the secrets to some of the best investments in Pokemon. Dragon Ball Z, NBA, etc., etc. No, That's it. So um, there we go. Thank any, you, any you. final, any fin final comments? Uh, no, just a good card. I honestly think um, you know this card will sort of double minimum in the next sort of twelve to twenty-four months. And I mean, at that price point, you, you've made a you know good chunk of change. So well, um, the uh, guys, I'll happily. Um, personally drop the card off as well. Thanks for that study. Really I'll appreciate that one. Cool. There you go. McKenna, this is going to study. He said he's going to personally come down and uh, drop that off for you. So that's going on his Versace robe right now. There, there you go. go. Um, Okie dokie. Now, uh, Pokedon, we've had uh, a lot of demand for a Dragon Ball Z tower. Any interest in just hanging out and giving us a hand with it? Sure. Yeah. Let's do that. And, uh, Pokedon needs a drink. I'm feeling a bit parched. 
But yeah, no, it was um. Claim the D, eight dollars a card. <laughs> get on your DBZ. Poke you're happy with that, brother? I'm very happy with that, man. I think everyone sort of came out to give it a watch. We have plenty of viewers. Um. And like I said, we're just striving to be sort of, you know, up the top, uh, up the, the top. very best. <laughs> no one. Well, that's right, Pokey Don. Um, you know, we want to bring the best stuff of anyone else in the country. We want to bring these cards. We want to impress our viewers. We want, you know, we want all that stuff. And um, that's just sort of, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. Are we going to go and auction while we claim these quick, keys, Pokey Don? Hey, I just want to have a quick look at the, um, 100%, like if they're hard. Dragon Ball or sure. Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. So I'm just going to look at the back. Oh yeah, so you've got majority of Super, then you've got some Bandai, or oh, you've even got Z, you've got Trunk Saga, yep. Boo Saga, Saiyan Saga. You've got big hitters for the, um, you know, you've got S, I think you got, you definitely got SRs in there, in, in the Dragon Ball Z Hollows and stuff. So, Fantastic. nah, really, uh, really good value. And this looks a bit small that we do. This is, a, yeah, this is about half the size of our standard Pokemon um, Tower of Death, AKA Tower of Life. All right, well, get your, um, get so your, uh, as they sort of come on through, Let's get around it. All day. We've got our next auction item, guys. A base set Charmeleon. Let's from get 1999. Day, brother. The mic's over there, not in the brother. Sorry, I'm just uh, mobile right now. Pokey sorry, Don. Sorry, we got mate, Toddy. Sorry, we got Toddy Thurlow to kick us off, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Give him two of the best for Toddy Thurlow. Beautiful. Can I grab your phone for one second first? Uh, all day, Matty J. Sure, brother. And I'm going to do something uh, in the next few minutes to celebrate what an awesome Dragonite that has been. Uh, beautiful. Is that, can you turn the brightness? Is that all up, good? Up. Yep. Yeah. Check this out, guys. Just before we do this DBZ tower, I'm going to give away this awesome sealed uh, Pokemon product just uh, to a random follower on Instagram. Um, before the end of the show, just follow me on Instagram and I'm going to give away... Not only this awesome um, sealed Charizard from the year 2000, but a few packs and things like that as well, and a few other goodies. Um, so give me a follow, and I'm going to pick a random follower to get this absolutely for free at some point tonight. So get on that, guys. Aaron Lester Ellis. Good on Damn. Instagram, and that Even is what you're winning, guys. Tonight? That is what we're winning tonight, Pokedon. Dude, and of course, bro. the first oh, ever super-sized Charizard. And if yeah. you were to send these off to PSA to have them graded, graded. Yeah. yep, they can all be graded, yeah. and they are worth even more if you get one of those really high grades, like a 9 or a 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we so go. what do you have to do? Just follow your... Just uh, follow me, time. and then uh, I'm gonna just going to pick a random follower at the end of the night, and uh, it's going to go to one of them. So let's uh, let's get to we'll it. Get started with these Pokemon. We've got the auction on the far right. Base set Charmeleon from 1999, and we're going to start the D's now. Pokemon oh. Toddy Thurlow. Give him two of the best. Two of the best. Ooh, starting off things Ooh. pretty nice. Yeah, very hollow? nice looking hollow there. Yep. Raging Great Eight, Son of Goku. Ooh, and so I guess, and these are like gradable as well, guys. They're like Fantastic pretty mints. Like I've I've fought them myself, so any damage would be just um, factory. There we go. Two. There you go. Next yep. up, and we'll go. Uh, we'll go five for Jarman Impy. Five. Ooh. Luck, Jarman. Hey, hey, that's your favourite, uh, Pokedon. Uh, so you got your nice little Bandai, and that's sort of from the time as well, Pokedon, yeah? Oh. So I think it's like so they're Bandai, 2000s, they? late 99s. Really? So yeah. this is Bandai, the same company that made so many famous Pokemon cards? Fantastic stuff. Toddy Thurlow Pokemon, three of the best three from of my best. main man. Go. Good luck, Toddy. Trunks. Ben Wilson just asked if we have followed you before, do we unfollow and follow again for a chance? It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no, no. Ev he everyone's in the draw. Yeah. Everyone's in the draw, so if once you follow me, you're always in my draws, so get around it. Next up. Uh, we've got Scotty Ty. So Give yeah. him three Pokemon. One. Those Bandai Funimations are from 01. I just had a quick look. So, so is this, you know, this, some is real this, old stuff. Is this, are these here from the set that's got the signatures and stuff in it? Or is that yeah, yeah. Set? Well, there's a few different sets. There's, yeah. there's quite a few. I don't really know just by looking at them. Yeah. But I did I did open a ton of, um, you know, those Tournament of Power. I, I remember that. So I remember that. These were all the... Um, and, and what's your thoughts on just Dragon Ball Z and how they've sort of been blowing up lately, Pokemon? Well, Dragon Ball Z is just sort of starting to uh, get a little bit of a buzz. Dragon Ball Super has just blown <laughs> up overnight. Yeah. So the Dragon Ball Z, I'm seeing sort of like, you know, high-end sort of five-star um, margin for Jitas, some nice Gokus, but mainly raw, mm -hmm. majority, going for decent money. But the graded stuff is all just Dragon Ball Super. Like, there's the son of Goku. Dude, it goes for like... 12, 13 grand. Is that true? From 2018. What do you mean, is it true? Oh. Is that true, Pokedon? Dude, eBay doesn't lie. And, um, and you got product. the signatures are gone for like two and a half, three grand each. Like, And I've checked them out for a little while, so I think they're even more than that, to be honest with you. But Fantastic yeah, Fantastic stuff. Because I remember you were getting those at a pretty affordable yeah. price. Um, well, I got that, son of God. That well, for starters, that card for 100 bucks or something. <laughs> 
Jeez. Yeah. Yes. I was only like, you know. Yeah, what's the pop? Is the pop in the thousands or the hundreds? Or do you know um, roughly sort of what I it is? I did look the other day, but I forgot. I think it was only like a couple hundred. I think Jeez. it was like 200. Holy shit. Yeah. I've been looking at some of the comments and people don't believe McKenna's a real person. So <laughs> I'm going to take you tomorrow. Okay. And we'll drop off. <laughs> oh, I I just thought McKenna's it. actually been on what the show, guys. Mean? She's been here. Uh, you, yeah. remember, you remember when McKenna popped yeah, in that time? She's so She's your man. She's a real person, guys. How is she fake? How is she fake? Tell me, how, What's, how is it fake? fake? What do you mean? We saw it to her. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. First call of the auction. We're at sixty-five dollars on the base. Charmeleon, poke your on. You ready for the next tee? Yep. Give me five for Michael Kosa. Five, one. Two. Can we get our Instagram up or something? Well, look at Kyle. He goes, I just bought a trunk oh, for a pristine nice. tent for 3500 One you free signed business yeah. card. Can I get a business you card, go please? Ten. You graded it, too. Yeah. Like oh, my God. Let's do a quad yeah. auto. The first ever quad auto. Huh? Ooh, Here we go. Auto. Here we go. Quad auto. Don all day and Ron. What about Stoddy? That's what I'm saying. Quad. Quad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, all right. We're going to have to try and... Give me some room. Do you reckon I'll, you I'll can go. fit under me? I'll just, go on the top. Yeah. Because yeah. mine's similar to yours. So, this is Pokey Don. Pokey Ron. Just Pokey Don or my actual name? I reckon just go actual Pokey Don. Wait, is this the first ever signed business card of the Pokey Don? I believe so. Or not that, that I know of. And it's the first ever quad. There you go. So Should now all day, maybe Jay. But make sure you leave room for... No, I reckon Stoddy goes there. You oh, go down the bottom of that, maybe Jay. Who's is that there? <laughs> that is uh, Michael Kosa. Yep, so this is all good. This is his. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's not, I don't know if it's done yet. Just yep. wait one sec. Yep. And me at the bottom? Yep. You go there. All day. There you go. Stoddy, you just so, go in that little space right there. Smack bang in the middle, bro. This is a sensational Ooh. little card with the quad auto. Quad auto, and one of one. Yeah, and, I'm just gonna, and I'm just going to add a little one of one right there. Ooh. So there we have it. Have a look at that. Who's getting this? Uh, Michael Kosa. Mikey. I mean, you know what? So. And just to make sure it gets to you safe and sound, I'm going to just look at the look at what look we at, do. Look here. at the care. Look at the look at this. The first ever one of one quad signed auto is going in this top loader. Seventy dollars on the auction, Mikey Malek. Don't snooze on the base charm. There guys. we go. That's coming to you, brother. And if you want to sell it, I'll buy it straight back off you. All right. Just give me a message. All right. One, two, three, four, five, four. five total. Yep. There we go. Thank you, Pokemon. Next up. Next up, we've got Harley Bartlett. Give him three Pokemon. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, it's, a, it's just amazing how much these modern cards have really taken off Pokedon, like... Because I just thought they would have solved the issue of, like, being able to print unlimited. And once they can print unlimited, it's going to be hard to sort of get that price off the ground. But, but what they, they did was make the pull rate hard. Hard, you know yeah. And Whereas it was, back yeah. in the day in Pokemon, Zard, the rarest card was one a box. That's it. These days, they're doing a one in six. Or it's a bit of a voltage Pikachu. One yeah. in six, one in yeah, eight. Something crazy. It's true. You know James, what I mean? you need to spend a thousand bucks just to pull it. Then before you get a ten... You know what I mean? So that's why they sort of demand that that premium. People don't get it. You know what I mean? They think 100%. it's some bubble or something. It's really just, uh, I guess, uh, human sort of manipulation of the market mm -hmm. to make it rare, make it cost your average person a thousand bucks to pull. And you if, know you, what and mean? if you want the values to sort of go up, the trick is to actually stop printing at some point. And you know what I'm saying? If you just stop printing while happens. people still want it, yep. you know, the, the price is going to move up. And and especially if the pop just levels out at 500, 600. There's more than five and 600 people that are happy to pay 100%. what it, you know, it would oh, cost yeah. just to open. Oh, you know yes. what I mean? Especially in a couple of years out of print. You're 100%. 100%. Right. James Lloyd, 5-0's Pokeron. Second call on the auction. Where are we at, boys? So these are 0-1's oh, oh, yeah. Dragon Ball yeah. Z. Yeah. Band. Uh, they're Funimation Bandai, I think. Five, did you say? Mm, yep. And, and we're at seventy dollars on the auction, guys. At second call. Oh, there's six there. There you go. One extra one. I'm a good bloke. Next up, uh, we got Rob Youngy Young. Poke your own. How do you get that nickname? Give him three of the best. Three. One. And there are definitely some more Two. SRs in here, I know Three. for a fact. There we go. Might have been SR. A lot of these sort of Bandai shorts. vintage stuff coming out. And all Look. mint, bro. Like, real, real mint. And all can be gradable. Obviously, the older stuff is a little bit, you know, less. I'd just say near mint. But... You know, 99.9% of these Dragon Ball Super are pack fresh mint gradable. Fantastic. Guy Morgan, three votes. Guys, One, don't forget all... Two, um, uh, three. Oh, Shenra on there. Fantastic. All Tower of Terror uh, claimers are named out in sequential order how we see it on their Welcome Stranger Collectibles official monitor. There's also, Keep that in mind. There's also some limited edition, which is basically the first edition. Well, that's what they call it in Dragon Ball Z, limited edition. Yeah. Um, Saiyan Saga, which is the first ever Dragon Ball Z cards ever in English. There's um, Boo Saga, which is like, you know, 
Busaga is the most expensive. I think that goes for like 15,000 US a box now. So the Dragon Ball Z stuff, you know, it has picked up, but it hasn't gone crazy. The Dragon Ball Z stuff on an average has gone sort of triple to quadruple. Whereas the Dragon Ball Ooh. Super, you're looking at a thousand percent, you know, 10,000 percent. I think it's just because it's in the public eye. It's around, it's printing, people are talking about it. Whereas the vintage stuff. Sort of know. like the NBA stuff. Remember how the NBA sort yep. of the new stuff yep. started popping off? And then, and then the old stuff, they're thinking, oh, hang on, if this is printed yesterday, 100%. fresh off the press, how's something 30 years old that's super hard to grade even worth the, even half the, the back these just takes me back. Next up, uh, Dave Coleman, uh, four votes. One, you actually bought the best t-shirt I've ever seen in my life the other day. Um, the, G, the G train. No, nah, was it the G train? DVZ <laughs> <laughs> top. DVZ top. Yeah, that was a. Um, uh, look, look at the shoes he's wearing now. Um. <laughs> oh, nice. Let's have a look. Pause. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Next up, <laughs> Ashley Mansell. Ten votes. Ten votes. Oh, One. Two, and with these, three. the trick is the one star is sort of like oh. the, the least rare. Oh, there's the Boo Saga right there, Margin Boo Saga. Nice. That came out of that thing. Five. Pink backgrounds, that's what you look for for the Boo. Six, was it? That's Limited Saiyan Saga. Look at there, you can tell from there. But what I was sort of saying about the um, about the rarities is if you look at Chi Chi here, five stars is the most rarest in Saiyan Saga. Yeah. Whereas one, like that, is a common. Is it is it less rare? There yeah, you, you go. Pour more of them. 10 votes Pokemon, was it? So that's what you gotta look out for, uh, guys. So I guess everyone look at those Pokemon. Is there 10 there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, nice. Oh, another Chi Chi. Nice! Scorecard. Eight. Oh, a Eight. Goku score. Like that in a 10 Nine. would go for like four, 500, you know? Ten. And it'd be like yeah. sort of like 3, 4 pop. There Super low pop. Hard to grade. Scorecards are probably the hardest TCG card to grade out of any I've ever seen in my life. Just because of the black background. Yeah. Very yeah. hard. But you know what we did see? People are happy to buy in sevens and eights. Yep. You know what I mean? If there's no tens in the whole pop, they're happy to grab you know the highest available grades. Four votes to Mikey Malek. One. And we're at seventy dollars on the auction, guys. Three. We're dropping the hammer very soon. Don't snooze. Four. There we go. Four. Uh -huh. Is are they all gone? Or do we? No, still got a few more. Uh, Andrew Burt. He wants ten votes. Ten. Four. Oh, make that fifteen. Fifteen. Four. One. Two. Three. Oh, they they world games. Though, that Five. This set. Oh. Huge box. Six. Seven. More I remember that one. <laughs> Eight. Another Nine. good one. TN Nine. Score. Ten. Eleven. Couple of Twelve. Raditors. Thirteen. Oh. Fourteen. Heaps of Raditors. Fifteen. Another one. Seventy-five dollars on the auction with Robbie Petrovic. Next up. First. Next up is Naz Maliko. Uh, ten votes, Pokemon. One. Beautiful. Two. Three. Eighty dollars of Mikey Malek. We're dropping the hammer very Blaster. soon, guys. Master Roshi, Chi Chi, Master Raditz. Eight. Nine. And 10. There you go. Not many left. I think there's about there you go. 10 left, guys. I believe maybe 20. Mikey Malek, give me three 30, more Pokemon. Now, just before um, this ends, uh, there's just one more thing I want you to do, Pokemon. I know you gotta, I, know, I know you got to get out of here and get back to your official Pokemon business. Mm -hmm. Dylan Moore, five votes. One, two, three, oh, four. World Games, Saiyan Saga, oh, Boosie. Yeah, like there's some real high quality stuff here. And then you're going to be really happy with the, um, three votes the condition for of this stuff too, guys. One. Two. Oh, oh, look at 90 of this stuff I can say I pulled myself. There you go. So, Pokemon. Tony Alessandrino, five votes. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. We're at 80 bucks on the auction, guys. We're going to drop the hammer on this at the end of the tease. Uh, Mitchell Westwood, two votes, Pokemon. One. Woof. Two. Have a look at these hits coming through oh, now, Pokemon. Next up. Again, uh, next games. up, we've got Mikey Malek again. Can't keep a good man down. Four votes. These are all games boxes. They're not cheap either, Pokemon. They're going for five, six thousand. Oh, no. look at this. What is going on, Pokemon? Big, big next up, only a couple left now. Three more to go. Blake Mission. Uh, five votes. He's only three left. One, two. Told you guys, it three. Wasn't left. There we go. All right, now Pokemon. Yes, I brother. want you to try, I want you to I want you to pull the chubby Pikachu before you go. Oh, right? I'm useless. I've opened that case of this dude. I didn't no, pull no, one. No, no, no. You will, Pokemon. You will. I don't trust you. Yourself. The first one. <laughs> back Pokemon, you back is open. Back it. Back it. All right, brother. I'll have a crack. Yeah, I'll, I'll even give you the Pikachu pack. All right. Eighty-five dollars on the auction. We're dropping the hammer when Pokemon's ready, which isn't too far away. Eighty-five dollars on the base char million. Good luck, Pokemon. Hope you get something grand. I was just not feeling it. It's just not heavy enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you've opened a few packs, Pokey. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, Grab another one, What's wrong with you? Anyone want this? Just write claim free pack. Sorry about the bent one. <laughs> just, I've opened about 
I'd say 250 of these packs, and I haven't even pulled a Pikachu V. Never mind the rainbow. What's that game in Crown where you can bend the cards? Backrack. Backrack. Yeah, playing too. That pretty much that Pokemon. Why don't you grab another one, Pokemon? Show me what's going on. Show me that. Did you see Pokemon pull Azard earlier tonight? That's it. Now you've pulled Azard. Toppy. Oh, mate, Toppy, you pulled a VMAX Azard today as well. Now you've brought some very nice vintage stuff there too, Pokemon. What have you got right here? You've brought something very special. So what are these? These are sealed Bandai packs, are they? From Series 5. Fantastic. Have a look at them. Far out. So... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to drop the hammer, yeah, guys. The hammer. They are so oh, these. Are, yeah, Robbie these, Petrovic these are takes that special. So, so you've brought some uh, really special stuff along. Um, yeah, and they're all just sort of like. But what they basically are is sort of like half a dozen cards or so. I haven't cracked many of these myself. Yeah. Um, and they're all different packs. So you obviously got all different pull rates, and you've got yeah. some nicer ones. Sort of you can tell from the front because it's obviously clear wrap. And they're the English um, packs. And it is. It is English, but they're obviously Japanese cards inside. But very, very unique product because obviously you've got the English packaging. So it was obviously released in the Western world somewhere. You got better ones than others. You obviously got Pikachu and Bulba, but you never know what's sort of behind it. You know, you can sort of tell the last card and the first card okay. if you really know your stuff. But you know, do, we do we have, do we have 24 Pikachu V's sold? Um, mystery? Um, no, but we had. We've got about 36. Marlin. He said, "Hey boys, if you've got a whole box of vivid voltage, on just there. hold off on that." Yep, yeah, beautiful. So they're all sold. We've got about well, if 14 here. Use that as one. If we don't have a whole box, we'll give him the rest, yeah? Sure. So now they're going to start claiming Bs, all right? Because the Pokedons, yeah? Okay. All good. So Vs are done. Yeah, now, if, if you want, no, they're $45. Oh, keep them random, the I reckon. Yep. Don't keep go. Totally just random. keep them totally random. Keep totally random. Yep. So I reckon just keep them over here. Claim B, $45. Yep. You won't get the first one. You'll just get one from the middle, guys. And we'll just keep chuck, um, pulling them from the guts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think nine, there's eight, no eight, more than eight, a dozen there. 14. 14. There you go. Not many. So anyone keen on one of them, I would say at $45, these are, you know, 20 years plus old. I haven't had a good look at sort of the date, but I mean, I know what I'd be buying if I had the choice of buying four of these or one of these. You know what I mean? So Should we start claiming the V's, Pokemon? Yep. All right, we'll go Brycey Gale. He'll take one pack. Uh, Drew Barsley, he'll take two packs. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep. Rob Petrovic, he'll take 10. 10, 1, ten, 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go, Pokemon in the house. going hard. Give himself a good chance to pull those. Emma P, give her four packs. Pull four packs, there we go. You've heard a two pack, there's four pack. Next okay. person to claim a B, I'm going to throw in a Flintstones and a Robin Hood. Thank you, Some more vintage um, packs there. Two for Scotty Tyler, the Vs. There we go. Next and up. we'll go Jordan Clow. Give him two of V as well. There we go. And then a few Vivids. Any more for the V? No more for the V. No more? So who was the one who claimed it off? Uh, it was... Aaron Buffermarlin. Yep. Hold box. Three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Five, wasn't it? Did he? No, I'm saving two of these. Okay. S sorry, boys. Yeah, so... Just let me know when you're ready, Mystery. Yeah. All right, let's we'll start claiming it. some of the Bs. I've got... Hey, well, I reckon we'll sort this out. Yeah. So that guy's going to grab the rest. And what's Bob it? Bob Marlin. Bob yeah. Marlin. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. And that was how many? 14? 14? Oh, no, he said he only wanted a steel box. Okay. That's right, I thought so. No yeah. drama. Well, Blake Mission wanted five of those. So. Yeah, so two, two, five. And then... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, there's five. There's a few more. There you go. I'm pretty sure. Not many left, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, nine. Yep, nine. There you go. So there's a few V's there, Let. So if you're keen on them, I can't and do any I'm better on the B, guys. Art set. Art art set. set. Uh, yep, chuck me one of those from the last one back. Uh, what? I'll swap you. Need. Just any of them? Just any. Yep. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, there you go. Art set. Art set. Yep, just uh, confirming. Five left. It is four art set. Yep. yep. Beautiful. There you go. Yeah, that's it for V's. For V's, can we get started on the V's? Five left, guys. If anyone is keen on them, just write claim V. Give Lee Jarrett a B, please. A B, I'm going to pull it from the guts right there. you got There's the Bulba. There's two well different done, uh, Zards available in this set. Hmm? And yep. you run them too. There yep. you go. And we've got Ch China Quek, two B's. Two B's? Yep. China Quek, it's two. Oh, oh you're going to randomly two, two from the middle, there please. There you go, they're V's. That's the two. Next up. Now there's Elliot Truscott, one B. There you go. 
many Pikachu artworks, many Dr um, Charizard left, yeah. artworks in this. I know there's that beautiful Pika and Bulba left as well. Fantastic. Yep. Dylan Next Moore, one V. One V. Sorry, Peter Victor wanted one V. One V. There you go. And then Shannon Williams said claim the last five. Okay, we'll give her four. All right, let's just yep, do one at a time. There, there you, you go. go. Four. So that's yeah. four. Yeah, four boys. Next B. Teamwork Next B. boys. Yep. Daniela Mish, one. Okay, mm -hmm. let's pull it out. There you go. You've got a beautiful Nidoking King and Gary. So Gary's Nidoking King getting beat by Gollum in the Elite Four, it looks like. I'd keep these sealed guys. Awesome. I'll pay you now. And that's what I love about these cards, too, these Bandai's, because it's scenes from the anime. So 100%. you get double dosage. And Not only do you get the card buzz, mm -hmm. but you get that anime, and everyone sort of watched it first season. That's it. You know? Having said that, there the is some really nice artworks just uh, that none, none of these got... Um, None of these got released in English either, Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, so keep and, that in and mind as well. Exactly right, and that's why I sort of love these that these particular ones because the package is in English, so it's yeah. obviously made for the the Westerner, so yeah, to speak. Fantastic. You know, yeah, I agree, Pokemon. Jordan Burns is next with a B. Yeah, Jordan Burns, bang! There you go, brother. Let's have a look. Oh, you got a muck. Unlucky, brother. But Ooh, like I said, there is this. a stack of other. Um, Pikachu Volpe, oh, look at Art that Pokemon. I'm going to give that to the next claimer. Robbie, How's that? Robbie Petrovic, he takes the next one, B. There you go, got the Pikachu Volpix. Yeah. There we go, next nice. up. Very generous. So there we have Shall it. Shall we go next auction Pokemon? Let's do it. Let's, uh, We're not, mate, we can't sort of do any better on the sealed product guys. So that's it, we're going to have, out. have a look at that. Last Ooh. chance to sort of claim B, so if you are keen. Actually, just give me one sec. Claim. Hello, Dana Hagen. Oh. Hey, yeah. um, Take care, love. Dana, thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure. Uh, why don't we uh, do a, do an A auction and a B auction while we've got the Pokedon here? Nice we'll story, do a couple bro. of Yu-Gi-Ohs. Tell us about these Pokedon. Uh -huh. Well, these are um, Metal Raiders. No, no. So I'm, yeah, what's going on? Oh. oh, you put the wrong card in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so J. you can chuck that one in there. Yeah. And we'll do one here. This will... Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So we'll do some Yu-Gi-Ohs now. Yep. Um, so so any more Bs coming through? What we've got here? We, we had a couple claims at thirty-five. Oh, okay, no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna hold on the vintage sealed no, stuff. No, we're, we're not looking at liquidate and that type of stuff just yet. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is a great investment, but guys, like well, I said, over twenty years old. Yep, Drew. Yep. No worries, Drew. I'll pick a random for you. Cody nice Arcanine. He wants one if it's a Bulbasaur. Team Rocket at the back. Yeah, we'll oh, sure. have a quick squeeze. I only get quick squeeze. I don't think there is a. Oh, I think there is. Oh, a, look at that Blastoise one there. Someone wants nah. claim Blastoise right yeah, there. There's the Bulba. Bulba. There you so go. That was the first guy, yeah. and this is the Bulba guy. Yeah. There's Blastoise. Look at the artwork on that one right there, guys. Front facing Blastoise, Raichu, and, and Gengar. Gengar. Ga, um, is it Gengar? Oh no, Cloister. sorry, Cloister. I'm tripping. But there's Team Walter wants a Pika. Pika. Let's the have a squeeze. And Bulba, but I'm guessing we'll go So this is A auction and this is B auction, yeah? You do that now? So A here and B yep. here? Our only problem is these were Bs, Ooh. so it's going to be a bit confusing. I reckon don't worry about the B auction, just go A auction and these until these are gone and then we'll okay. yeah. go. Sorry, uh, what was what were the Bulba, was it? Sorry, no, so Hayden wanted a Bulba and a Pika. Bul has he got either yet? No. Okay, let me see if I've got a Bulba and a Pika. In the meanwhile, Ivan just said he wants one for the middle. Playing Blastoise, there's one there. Oh, sorry. Well, that's the same one. I'll yeah, go in order. So the next bloke was Ivan. Yep. One from the middle. Ivan, one from the middle. Yep, there we go. There we go. There. Yep. And then the same bloke that wanted the Pika and the Bulba also wants a Blastoise. There you go. Who's that? I uh, hate the Bulba. But we don't have a Pika and a Bulba Pokemon, but we definitely have the Blastoise there. Surely I've got Pika. Yeah. Three, yeah. And you can have a look at Yeah, there's a Pika on the back of this one. That'll do. There you go. Oh, that's, that's a nice one too, because yeah. that's basically the artwork at the front. Fantastic. So there's a Pika and Blast. Sorry, we don't have a Bulba for you, bro. Actually, there's a Bulba right there. Oh, there you go. There you go. See a little Bulba at the bottom there. That is on the back of the card. There you go. Which Next is also up. on the front, of course, if you opened it. Fantastic. Next up, any more claimers coming through now? Let me see. I've got a Meowth. Is, this, is there a Zard? Uh, no, no Zards. <laughs> They try. Um, they try. <laughs> so does anyone know out there in the comment section what a Metal Raiders box first edition's worth in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'd love to know. And again, like Yu-Gi-Oh, the their cards come a little bit smaller, and I just sort of, they, 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 they're very well made, but the black borders and, and sharp tips just tend to sort of um, damage a lot easier than your standard Pokemon cards. We do have another Jordan Blastoise. Jordan said, is there a, can you swap, here's one for a Team Rocket if there's one out there. Uh, Oh, we can't really do swaps and stuff, yeah. can we? Or oh, look, just do it quickly. Just do one. It, chuck it over, Mr. Man. 15 to 20 grand. Right. Usually don't do it, guys. 15 to 20 grand. And, like, again, I think you pull the pull rate is like two of these uncommon type cards where you've got sort of five or more, five or six stars. 
You know what I mean? And again, at a near mid seven, it's, it's really not bad at considering sort of just grading these days is gonna put you back sort of 40 bucks, you know? Sorry. Is there another um, blast out there? There you go. Yeah, that's good. Sold. At the moment, check out, we've got Gary, we've got Meowth and Persian, Arcanine, Brock and Misty, and Team Rocket. That's what we've got left at the minute. Claim by the species, if you like. Alrighty, so. We'll give that another 30 seconds, poke it on, and uh, let's just have a bit more of a little squeeze. And uh, Gary's got to tie Holden. Gary, yep, there you go. All right, can we drop this auction? Where are we at? Any ideas? Yeah. Uh, 30 with Mark Riddle. 30 bucks, that seems awfully cheap, Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's probably worth closer to sort of 65, 70, but I mean, there is, there is a no-reserve Our uh, canine's gone to China. There you go. China. <laughs> um, even though it is a um, side duck or something like that. Side duck. Out there, that's gone to Cody. Um, um side, no, but I guess it's. Oh, yeah, there you are. There you go. Another side duck there if someone's keen. Even that one's sick, dude. Uh, Misty's gone. One. Brock and Misty. That had already. No, there's a Misty. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, Elliot hey. Scott, you got that one. I was going to say, Pokey Don, even though the, it's a PSA 7, the uh, Yu Gi card on the far right, it's pop one, but there's only six higher in that grade. Yeah. Pikachu, a couple of Pikachus, so, look at that one at the back. People aren't exactly cracking these 20 round boxes, you Ooh, know what I'm saying? Team Rocket's gone to Ty Holden. Team Rocket's gone. Oh, this is. Uh, we've got Onyx. Uh, we've got a Gyarados. Someone, if you want, someone's came a Gyarados on the back there. With the Raichu. With it's the Raichu as well, and a little Blastoise, it looks like. Costa Ooh, Kringas in the house. Dragonite sold for right. 9k, brother. Let's drop this auction. What are we at? Uh, Misty, you wanted the one with Brock. Yeah, the breath same. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just chuck it back. Yeah, have you got the one with Brock? Uh, but it's sold. Okay. Yeah, so can't have that one, unfortunately, brother. Rocket Pika's gone to Ty Holden. Rocket Pika, there you go. 31 as Tom Clearwater. Let's drop it. And sold. Next up, check this out, guys. Right. We've got a beautiful ancient mute. Gyarados has gone to RJ Sengalin. Gyarados, that's already, that looks like it's already gone, unfortunately. Yep. Next auction, that was the auction. That was the Gyarados. Oh, there is the Gyarados. Yep. yep. And that was like 30, 30, yeah. 31. Mm -hmm. yep. who, who got that option, did you? Uh, top 30.
Pokey down here, the cards are just flying out. Out the door like he never left. <laughs> What'd you get?
Get up to on your Easter poke, you know what? I'm sure everyone would love to know. Well, I'm actually still selling. Celebrate it as you can oh, see. There you go. Ironic. Um, <laughs> Thank you.
by and what have you been no, saying? No, I'm actually going to see my parents tomorrow. Um